What's going on, crew? Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. What's up, Kelly? What's up, Debbie? What's up, Betty and Pat and Cynthia? Jeff, what's going on, buddy? How are you? What's up, Susan? What's up, Keisha? Yolanda, how are you? What's up, Ruth? Nicole? Lynn? Peggy? Dale? Julio? Shelly? What's going on, everybody? Let's get the rest of the crew in here. Let's get TikTok in here. Boom. Let's get Instagram in here. TikTok, what's up? Instagram, what's up? We're live. It's Monday. It's Monday. We're live. You know what that means. Good time tonight. All right. Everybody can see me. Everybody can hear me. Sweet. All right. Before I get into too much tonight, okay, before I get into too much tonight, just to let you know, we're going to do our deal I've done the past couple weeks, and that is a little too early right now, Susan, but I remind me here in a little bit. <laughs> um, if we get to 1,000 on YouTube, 1,000 live on YouTube, I will do a 10% coupon code. Now... With that being said, be careful because back is doing better. Back is feeling better. Now, with that 10% coupon code being said, if we hit it, normally we've been hitting it kind of near the end of the live, right? If we do hit that, some of this new vinyl might be sold out. Todd, what's up, big dog? How are you? So I'm telling you right now, some of this new vinyl may be sold out. And we are almost out of a few colors. Now, any of you that want to grab it quickly, um, the, the glow-in-the-dark adhesive vinyl is the one that we have a really small initial stock on. The UV Magic Heat Transfer vinyl, we have a pretty good stock, but it could possibly... Um, it could possibly be gone as well, okay, by the end of the night. Now, with that being said, every one of you, yes, our Color Spark vinyl is our vinyl, correct. Um, with that being said, any of you that are All Star members, you guys learned about this vinyl probably, what, about four hours ago, and All Star members also got a special coupon code. Um, is this for the Cricut? Tonight, I won't be using the Cricut, but I have different trainings where I use the Cricut as well. All of the materials that I'm using on TikTok, Jennifer, um, all the materials I'm using, you can use with your Cricut Joy, Cricut Explorer, Cricut Maker, I got right there. So you can use everything I'm using tonight with your Cricut machine as well, okay? All right, got my order today. Can't wait to use it. Love to hear that. Thanks for the support. So, I guess first thing I'll do is I'll show... Now, of course, we're doing a Cameo 4 giveaway. So, if you are on Instagram, if you're on TikTok, you need to make sure you're on YouTube because that's where you will enter the... You just have to be live to enter the Cameo 4 giveaway. So, if you want to be live, on, if you have one device, the main place you want to be live is on the YouTube channel. That's where most of the giveaways will happen, and that's where the Cameo 4 giveaway will happen, okay? All right, now, let me first, before we get, I'm going to get into some pricing stuff tonight because I've had a ton of questions, and I told some of you I would go over some of that stuff on the beginning of the live here tonight. Then I'm going to make two different tumblers. I'm going to make a tumbler with the glow in, the new Color Spark Glow in the Dark Adhesive Vinyl. I'm going to make a tumbler with the new UV Magic Heat Transfer Vinyl um, with HTV Anything. And then we'll probably make a t-shirt with the UV Magic Heat Transfer Vinyl. And of course, I'll pick names from you guys and I'll give them away. So we'll have some giveaways with the products that I make here tonight. I'll give all of those away. And then hopefully we can get to a thousand lives. So any of you that want a coupon code for the website for 24 hours, make sure to go share this live with all of your friends. All right. So first thing I'm going to do and the first thing I want to show you, and I'll probably just bring them over here. That'll probably be the easiest is the glow in the darks. 
So, these are the glow in the dark adhesive vinyls, Color Spark adhesive vinyls. So, we have the green, okay, glow in the dark. We have the coral. See if I can hold them all up here. There's the coral. We have the mint, glow in the dark, all right? We have the pink, glow in the dark. Uh-oh, I'm running out of fingers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it. Oh, yeah, we'll do. We have the apricot and we have the peach. So these are all glow in the dark adhesive vinyls. Okay, glow in the dark adhesive vinyls. So thinking of car windows, thinking of tumblers, thinking of anything for adhesive vinyl. I mean, ceiling, you can do stuff, stars and stuff on the ceiling, which is freaking awesome for glow-in-the-dark stuff. But we decided to do a bunch of different colors of the glow-in-the-dark with the color spark. Okay, so all of these glow-in-the-dark, and we'll make, like I said, a custom tumbler for one of you guys tonight with these. Now, next thing is... These guys right here, okay? These, these are going to change your heat transfer vinyl life. These are going to change your heat transfer vinyl life. So, what color are these? Who can tell me? What colors do I have here? They're beautiful. They're vibrant, aren't they? These amazing colors. We have white then we got a nice white then we got a pretty sweet looking white right here they are they're white okay and i'll show you here is here's a shirt beach please shirt with it all right nice and white right Regular white heat transfer vinyl. You guys on TikTok, everybody on TikTok's laughing because I went live on TikTok a little while ago. All right, there's my white. You guys ready for this? You know what? I can probably, my best way may be to show you guys on TikTok. Let's do that. I just posted a video on TikTok. So let me switch over to my screen camera here. And if you're on Instagram, make sure to head over to YouTube or TikTok to be able to see, okay? Because I'm going to keep the Instagram up here. All right, so let me go to, uh, bah, 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 I want there, and let's go TikTok. All right, let me flip you guys over here and check this out. You guys ready for this? I know TikTok, I know some of you guys saw this already, right? But a lot of you on YouTube haven't yet. Here you go. There's the shirt inside. And watch, I'm going to walk outside in the sunlight with it. Watch what happens. There we go. With, I'm talking, I'm talking within two seconds of you going outside. Within two seconds of you going outside, it's going to change. And it's got a glitter. It's got like a glitter look to it as well. We switched it up a little bit and we added kind of that glitter texture to it. It's freaking insane, right? And watch, I got another one on here. Watch, this is the tumbler. You can see I'm getting ready to walk outside with it. It's all white. As soon as I walk outside with it, there we go. This is heat transfer vinyl, yes. All right, and I'll give you another example. Check this out. Let me flip you guys back around here, TikTok, so you can see. And I'm going to be using all these materials tonight in the live. Don't worry. I'm going to show them all. 
Um, let me flip over to the camera here. Now, this here is just a UV flashlight, okay? It's a UV flashlight. So watch this. You guys ready? That's white right there, right? Watch. I'm just going to do the top or the second half of it. Look at that. How sick is that? Ready? And then the more the light hits it, watch. If you're outside and that UV light just keeps hitting it, look how dark that pink gets. Is that not freaking sick? I mean, remember my whites? Watch. Yellow, pink, purple. It's heat tran yes, it's regular heat transfer vinyl. All right? So, same thing. Let me grab this here. Give me one second. I think, or I thought I had a, here. Let me just grab this hanger here real quick. Just so I can hold the shirt up to show you. I've tested them for months and they've been perfect. I've done wash tests and they've been perfect. So... I'm just throwing this on this real quick. This is on a gray shirt. I'm going to do one on a white one tonight, okay? Check this out. You see the shirt right now, right? I got my flashlight. Check this out. How freaking cool is that? And then obviously if you hit it longer, I mean, watch this. If I hold it right up to... This spot right here, watch how dark that turns. And then you'll see, you see the yellow starting there. There's the pink, there's the purple. Yeah, the purple will get a lot darker. When you're outside, it all changes back to white. Like literally within two minutes of you walking inside, Look at the purple changing in front of your eyes back to white right here. So I'll set this shirt here literally for, I don't know, two minutes and it'll be back to all white. Here, let me, um, I'll kind of set it in the background here so you guys can kind of see it as we're going. That'll be all back to complete white. It's freaking awesome. But of course you can use it for HTV anything for tumblers or you can use it for uh, where we just hit 500 by the way ding 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 cameo giveaway is locked up for tonight. So cameo for giveaway is locked up if we get 493 more people tonight. I'll tell you what. How about this? I'm going to give you a deadline too. We're going to try something different. I love, any of you guys who are brand new here, I love playing games. I love competitions. So here's what we're going to do. If we hit a thousand live on YouTube tonight, okay, I will do a 10% coupon code that will work on these new vinyls as well. If we hit a thousand live tonight before... Nine, that's 45 minutes. If we hit a thousand live tonight before 9.30, if we hit a thousand live tonight before 9.30, okay, that gives you an hour and 15 minutes. That's plenty of time. A thousand live on YouTube before 9.30, I will give away Three rolls of 
to three different people. I'll give away a pink roll of the UV. I'll give away a pink roll of the UV Magic Heat Transfer Vinyl. I'll give away the, a yellow roll, and I'll give away a purple roll. I'll give away these three rolls. Actually, I'll give away three brand new rolls because I'm going to use these tonight. I'll give away three brand new rolls. But we have to hit 1,000 before 9.30. Deal? And any of you that are here, any of you that are here, and I'm going to give away the shirt we're going to make and the two tumblers we're going to make. But any of you that are here, you guys know the way I am. If it's 9.31 and we hit 1,000, we won't do that giveaway. It's all or nothing. No 14th place trophies here, baby. Got it? So if you're on Instagram, get over to YouTube. If you're on TikTok, get over to YouTube. If you don't know where it is, Instagram, click my link in my bio. It'll be the top link in the bio on the smart bio. TikTok, same thing. It'll be the top link on the smart bio on TikTok. All right? It'll bring you directly to the YouTube live. We're at 550 right now. We need 450 more. All right. And then the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is, man, how am I going to do this one? This here is the mint glow in the dark. Okay, this is the mint glow in the dark. The rolls are five foot rolls. So that with the mint glow in the dark here, how can I show you guys? Here, let's do this. I'll bring you guys one at a time here just to show you. I got that one, and then I also have this Let's Get Naughty decal. There is, any of you who haven't seen our opal vinyls, this is our lemonade here, which turns to the yellow, to the green, to the orange, to the pink. That's our lemonade opal vinyl, and then this is the Glow in the Dark Mint. Um, to enter the giveaway for the Cameo, you just have to be on the live training here. Just have to be on the live training. You don't have to purchase anything, nothing. All right, let me show you these real quick. Let me bring you guys in here. Give me one second. I'm going to set this one up and this, this one up. And I will bring TikTok in here first. So TikTok, let me flip you guys around. So TikTok... There they are right there with the light on. This is the glow in the dark mint. When I turn the light off, there you go. Complete glow in the dark. Pretty sweet, isn't it? All right, and let me bring YouTube in here real quick to show YouTube what it looks like. Again, Instagram, you guys are going to be missing out. Head over to YouTube now, Instagram. We're already up to 600 live. I think you guys might do this. Okay. Do you guys want more of a motivation? Do you want to, do you want to up the ante a little bit on the game here? Let me know. Give me a yes if you want to up the ante a little bit. And let me flip over to production camera here real quick to show YouTube. All right, YouTube. Let's bring you. I got to unattach you from this real quick. And... Let's get you in here, YouTube. All right, YouTube. There it is right there. And once the light's off, there you can see it. So, light on, light off with the glow in the dark. Now, I'm hoping, let me know if you guys could see that, because I couldn't see the screens to see if I was pointing at it right. Hopefully, I was. It's pretty sick, isn't it? All right, so here's how I'm going to up the ante. If we get to 1,000 live, I said 930 to give away one roll of each of those. If we get to 1,000 live by 9 o'clock, that's 40 minutes, I will give away one roll of each of the glow-in-the-dark adhesive vinyls. So that's six extra rolls. Everybody got it? If we get to 1,000 live by 9 p.m., I'll give away one roll of each 
to one roll, six different winners will get one roll, okay, of the glow-in-the-dark color spark adhesive vinyl and three rolls of one roll each of the um, UV, of the UV Magic HTV. If we don't do it by 9 o'clock and we do it by 9.30, then we get the three. If we don't do it by 9.30, then we get none of them. If we don't hit a thousand total, we don't get the coupon code either. Can't have more motivation than that. So let's get it. All right. So what I want to get into tonight is a little bit with pricing. Okay. I want to go over some pricing stuff because I've had a lot of people asking questions about pricing and getting started. So first things first, let me grab one of these just to show you. So I'm not going to get too into detail on this stuff, but I just want to at least show it so you guys kind of have an idea of kind of where I started as well. So let me grab one of these here. And I know I'm not in the picture right now. I'll be right back. I'm trying to find and... Let's see if I have it here. Here we go. Okay, so as many of you know, when I started my business, I did vinyl car window decals, okay? Like this here. So, if you have a, how many of you here, just to get an idea, how many of you here have a vinyl cutter, whether it's a Cricut, whether it's a Cameo, a Graph Tech, a Roland, whatever it is, how many of you have a vinyl cutter but not a heat press? Give me yes cutter, no press, or yes cutter, yes press, or no cutter, no press. Comment and let me know. A lot of you, holy cow, wow, that's amazing. So many of you have... I mean, obviously, a lot of you have both, but many of you do not have a heat press yet. Okay, that's awesome to know. I'm glad I, I'm glad I know that yet now because I can talk a little bit more about it. So, those of you who don't know, okay, just to give you a little background for those of you that are new here tonight, myself and my wife were both high school teachers, okay? I was a high school physical education teacher. She was a high school physical education, physical education teacher. I was a baseball coach. She was a track and cross country coach. So we obviously had no background in this business coming into it, okay? But when you're a teacher in Florida, in honestly a lot of states, you normally need some type of supplemental income, okay? Because teachers don't make a whole lot of money, right? At least not in Florida they don't. So... We were always trying to find something to make some extra money. And what we did is I started to do some research. We were both coaches. I knew a lot of my, my, my father was an athletic director and football coach at a different school. My mom was a cheer coach at a different school. My sister was a softball coach at a different school. My brother was a football coach at a different school. So I literally knew, oh yeah, let me flip you guys around, my bad. I knew every athletic director and coach and everything in the area okay so I always talk about this because honestly I kind of cheated a little bit because I knew everybody already so it did make getting my business started a little bit easier because my goal was to do a lot of sports stuff with decals and things all right so I as you know and I've told you before I didn't, I never had a vinyl cutter for probably the first almost year and a half of my business. All right. All I had was the cheapest vinyl cutter I could find on eBay. So what I did back then, and the, actually the name of my business was called the decal world because that's all we did was these right here, vinyl car window decals. And I'm sure a lot of all of you who have just a cameo or just a cricket or a vinyl just a vinyl cutter are doing similar things correct and <clears throat> i always get people ask me 
And they always ask me, well, why didn't you start with a vinyl cutter? Why didn't you do t-shirts right off the start? To tell you the truth, I, we couldn't afford a heat press. That's why we started with just a vinyl cutter. We didn't have enough extra money to get the cheapest heat press out there. Okay? So I had the cheapest vinyl cutter and the cheapest vinyls out there. But getting started with these is huge. Okay? And it doesn't have to be sports stuff. I mean, here's another example of just a lake life design. Here's another example of a colored sports decal. Here's something really cool. A reflective this is our Color Spark Reflective Vinyl, all right? Here is a three-color decal, right? So here's a Softball Mom decal, Soccer Mom. So we can do all types of things with a vinyl cutter. And what you really need to pay attention to is just look when you're driving around town. Okay, depending, you need to get something that will relate to people in your area as well. Obviously, youth sports and everything is huge pretty much anywhere, right? So that's always awesome. But is our monograms huge in your area? Or is, um, I don't know, hunting is whatever it is, is what you need to find in your area that you're going to be able to sell and, and gain a customer base, right? Um, also, Give me some ideas. And this is what I love about having 700 people live. Because you guys can go back and look at these comments. And I love it when you guys give examples as well. So those of you who have a vinyl cutter, tell me what your most popular item you sell is. Is it car window decals? Is it, um, are you doing templates for wood stuff? Are you doing, um glass etching with vinyl templates what is it what 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 are you customizing what are you doing with your vinyl cutter tumblers awesome i do shirts because i have a heat press cups and tumblers just learning um educational items awesome of course um farm decor cheer bows amazing cheer bows are absolutely insane starbucks cups yes more tumblers tea towels so look through some of this stuff glass etching all right um more tumblers a ton of tumblers face masks perfect shot glasses another good one i see over here on uh instagram some more tumblers for baby showers things like that um um, graduation decals, shadow boxes, that's a good one. I like that. Haven't sold anything yet, no worries. Don't worry about that. I mean, that's the thing is build it. Garden flags, perfect. So that's the thing is there's, how many of you out there, and, and give me a heads up, fishing rod's nice. How many of you out there feel like you can't, cannot, feel like you cannot be successful selling these products because Everybody does it. Let me know. Give me a me if you think that. How many of you feel like you, you can't be successful doing this because everybody does it? And there's going to be a lot of me's. Watch. I guarantee it. Look at those. Look at all those me's. So here's what I want you guys to think about. All of you guys that are saying me right now. Okay? All of you that are saying me. Here's my question to you is what are you doing different that makes your business stand out? What are you doing different that makes your business stand? Because I'm telling you right now, every single one of you here can be successful. Is it easy? Hell no, it's not easy. Not at all, right? But if you can't say what you're doing, and you don't need to say it here. I'm just saying to yourself. Be honest with yourself. What are you just, like I see some people that say, I post stuff on, um, I post stuff on Etsy. Okay? You know what? There's a billion other people that post stuff on Etsy too. That's not doing anything different. Right? Is, does it help? Of course it does, but are you really doing anything different? No. Are you posting on Instagram? 
every single day? Are you posting on TikTok every single day? Are you posting on YouTube? Are you posting on Twitter or Facebook? Whatever it is. I'm telling you guys, it's a freaking boatload of work, right? But to be different, to stand out, you... One thing I can tell you, and still to this day, I think this, okay? If it's true, I don't know. I don't know if it's true, but in my head it's true, and I'm not BSing myself when I think of this. I know for a fact, at least in my head, that we have 719, we have 120, we have 50. We got, between the three here, 800 people here. I can almost, I, you know, I can guarantee I work harder than everybody here. Is that saying something bad about you? No, it's not. I just know that when I do something, I put everything into it and I work my ass off and stuff isn't going to work and then I fix it and I try something else and I try something else and I try something else. Does that necessarily mean you have to work 20 hours a day? No, it doesn't mean that. But you know what a lot of us do? And tell me you don't, okay? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me here. Be honest with me. How many of you go to post stuff on TikTok and you fall down that deep, deep, deep TikTok rabbit hole? And then an hour later, an hour later, you're starting to figure out what video you want to post after you just watched 2,000 videos. Right? It's tough. Isn't it? It is tough. I'm telling you guys, if you, I, I guarantee you, if you're posting a lot on social media, you're wasting a lot of time on social media as well. Because Instagram, scroll away. Facebook, when you go on there, you get caught. Like, I have times where I go on Instagram or TikTok and stuff and, and look at stuff, but it's time that I've put aside to say, you know what? I'm just gonna see what's going on on TikTok. I'm gonna, when I'm, when it's video time, I don't pay attention to anything else. It's get these video, okay, I got two hours of TikTok, I got two hours of Instagram, I got two hours of, of responding to comments and this and this. And I promise, if you manage your time correctly, it's not as much as you think it is, okay? But, Staying focused, exactly. Staying focused is by far the most difficult thing. Okay? All right. So, back to the pricing stuff here real quick. But, again, those of you who say, and everybody will look at me, okay? Because I saw some of the comments come through already. Well, it's easy for you to build up your TikTok because you have a lot of followers on YouTube. And it's easy for you to build up your Instagram page. Do you guys know how many followers I had 12 years ago? 12 years ago, I had zero followers, right? I had zero business. I had zero customers. Honestly, I had zero knowledge. <clears throat> I knew nothing about this business, all right? Absolutely nothing. And there, I promise you this, there was nobody out there providing live trainings like I'm doing for you guys right now 12 years ago. Do you know how much vinyl I wasted, stuff I messed up? I've never gone to a business class in my life. I've never gone to a software class in my life. I've never gone to a, a graphic design class in my life. Still to this day, I never have. I made a crap ton of mistakes, but I learned from all those mistakes and built it. Okay? So, Everybody that always says, well, you have a big following. You know what? The cool thing is, at, some, at one point, 12 years ago, 5 years ago, 10, whatever stage you're at right now, I was in your shoes, okay? I'm telling you. We were to the point in, in 2008 where we were about to lose our jobs teaching because they were doing cuts and we were early teachers. And... We didn't, man, we were, we were scared. We had no money in our bank account. We were about to lose our jobs that we went to college for. And we said, we got to figure out something. And that's when the decal world started. And 
believe me, we, we still taught for a long time until we continuously built and built and built and invested into the business. And one thing that I, I always try to stress when I talk about this is just because you're, here's what a lot of people do. They start the business, the business starts getting a little bit successful, they start selling the decals, they start making some money, right? And you start spending the money. You don't have to tell me if you're guilty of this. I know a lot of you are, and I was off the start, but not for long because I, I realized what was happening. So we completely shut it down. We said we're living off just our teaching salary. Every single, every single penny that we made with our business went back into the business. So even though we were making extra money, we invested it all back into the business so we could pay for a nice vinyl cutter cash, so we could pay for a nice heat press cash, so we could pay for an embroidery machine, so we could pay for sublimation, so we could pay. And every single penny we made, we didn't go get annual passes to Disney World. We didn't go get a new car. We didn't go get anything different. If you do that, if you follow that strategy, I promise, I promise and you invest in yourself and in your business, your business will keep growing. If you just spend the money that you make, I promise your business will not continue to grow. So, hey, just be smart with it. Okay, so real quick, let me get into this pricing stuff because we got to make some stuff. And we are at, just to let you know, give you an update, we're at 745 here. We, it's 837. We have 23 minutes to get to a thousand to do all the giveaways. Nina Sellers, appreciate you. Not needed, but greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right. I know a lot of you guys know this, okay? A decal like this. Every weekend, every weekend I would go to events and sell these things. I would sell them for $10 each, Okay. A lot of you are saying that's a lot, and it is, but you're thinking it's a lot because you're looking on Etsy and you're looking on eBay, okay? When you are live at an event making these at the event, $10 is nothing because it's instant gratification for them, right? What, what sport do you want? What team name do you want? What name do you want? What custom number you want? Honestly, I had more people say only $10 than $10 is too much, okay? My cost in this vinyl and the application tape, I'm looking at, depending on how much you buy at a time, right around 9 to $0.11 cents in material cost. I'm telling you guys, I would go to these events, I would make the decal at the event, in my head, I'm thinking 11 cents. I would hand it to them. They would hand me a $10 bill. And for a split second, not, not very long, just a, like a super small split second, I almost felt bad. Because I'm like, I just gave them 11 cents for $10. I almost felt a little bad, but that didn't last long, right? Because again, it's completely custom. You invested money in your equipment and everything else. It's pretty amazing. So, whenever I talk about building your business, this, these are some of the main things I talk about. These are your best margins that you're going to have. Better than embroidery, better than sublimation, better than heat transfer vinyls, better than vinyls, everything. Lourdes, thank you. You guys are freaking amazing, but stop. But thank you very much. So, do it. And again, that's why my business was the decal world, right? That's why it was the decal world. Now, let's get into something else here. Let's get into this, okay? <clears throat> As you guys know, how many of you have ever had a customer, okay? How many of you have ever had a customer that said that's too expensive, that's too much. Whether it's for a t-shirt, whether it's for a decal, whatever it is. Let me know. How many of you have ever quoted somebody on a t-shirt or on a decal or anything and the customer says, that's too much? 
And I'm sure every single one of you guys are going to say basically yes. At some point that happened, right? I got something that's going to help you guys with it, okay? Does that mean it's going to solve everything? It doesn't mean it's going to solve everything, but it is probably, it's probably the best, it's probably the best technique I used in my business. And I know a lot of you, I've talked to you about this before, okay? So, here's the deal, is allow, give your customer basically the full privileges of the price that they want to pay. And you're like, what? They just tell me how much? No, not really. They're not really going to tell you how much they want to pay. But you're going to give them options. And you're going to show that perceived value on the better stuff. Which gives them, the customer, the feeling that they're choosing their price. Okay, so here's the deal. This right here, okay, this design right here, check it out. It's got black glitter, it's got green grass glitter, and it's got rhinestones for a t-shirt, all right? This design right here on a, a nice Bella shirt, let's say the shirt's $3.50 or so, on a nice Bella shirt, this design right here on a t-shirt, completely custom, custom number, mom of Madison, everything custom, right? I used to sell all day on a t-shirt for $35, okay? You guys let me know, is that a lot or, or is that less? Where would you guys be on a t-shirt that cost you $350 for the blank? Where would you be, price-wise, putting that onto a shirt? And believe me, some of you may be $40. Some of you may be $25, okay? $35 was the price I was always at, all right? Now, what if they say that's too much? I say, hey, no problem. I got a solution for you. That's $35 shirt, okay? If we take away all of the rhinestones on this shirt and we just do the glitter, now it's a $30 shirt. Oh, $30 is still too much. Okay, no worries. We'll just take away the rhinestones and the glitter and we'll just use our regular heat transfer vinyl, just our kind of base generic vinyl and now you have a $25 shirt. Oh, $25 is still too much. Okay, well if you turn this to an all black design, now it's $22.50 for the t-shirt because it's a one color design. One color design, remember you're going to make that in half the time because you only have to weed one color. You only have to press one color, right? So, here's what normally happens. Is they'll say, and this is, this is my favorite part, and believe me, I've said this to people, okay? People love it when you joke around with them. Just don't be a complete ass about it. But people love it when you joke around. So I'll say, okay, so the full glitter and rhinestones, $35. Just the glitter, $30. Just the regular, $25. One color, $22.50. And then they say, but I really want the glitter and rhinestones. And, but they don't want to pay that $35. So they're like, I really want that glitter and rhinestones. And I say, well, I really want $35. But what this is doing is... It is showing them, okay, and believe me, um, Crafty Lori, that's a great point. Crafty Lori said, Crafty Lori said, I paid $35 for plain with glitter or bling 40. So, believe me, I've gone to different events where this has been $40. I base it off of where I'm going event-wise and market-wise and whatnot. So, I'll change my prices from time to time as well. The biggest thing is giving them the option. If they want to be cheap, hey, give them that less expensive option. 
I only have $22, $22.50. Okay, you got the one color design. Do you want black or green? Well, I don't want black or green. I want the glitter and the rhinestones. Okay, well, I want $35. You better go hit Bank of America real quick and get some more money because you're getting the one color design with your $22.50 and don't budge on it. Don't budge on it because you're giving them that option, right? You're giving them that option. If, if they want to be cheap and only spend $22.50, give them the $22.50 version. All right, does that make sense to everybody? So here's another question. How about this design right? I think I have it in this book. Hold on. How much, and this is an awesome looking design, how much would you sell this shirt for? How much would you sell this shirt for? It's still just glitter heat transfer vinyl and it doesn't have stones on it. Yeah, the books, we sell the bling book pages on the, on the website so they can flip through. I'm not going to lie. You know how much I would sell if, if someone wanted this shirt right here? I would be a minimum, minimum of probably $55. And here's the reason why. Number one, you're correct. So I see a lot of people putting like $30, $25, right? Because you're looking at it and saying it doesn't have rhinestones. I could care less about that. You know what? Do you know what your rhinestone cost is probably on that shirt over there? Your rhinestone cost is probably 30 cents in rhinestones. Probably 30 cents in rhinestones. Here's why I would be $55, $60 on this shirt. I got pink. I got green. I got blue. I got yellow. I got purple. I got white. I got... Um, a different, I have seven, seven colors in this design right here. That means I have to cut seven colors, I have to weed seven colors, I have to press seven colors. So this is going to take seven times as long than doing a one color shirt. This honestly is the part of this business that kills everybody. As many of you know, I've been going to trade shows and teaching classes at trade shows for the past probably eight years, okay? And we'll have classes at trade shows where I'll have 200 people in the class. And I always talk to them at the booth and talk to them after the class and everything. And and probably the biggest thing I run into, the biggest issue that I've, that I've seen in people running their business is not charging more for more colors. So if someone charged $25 for a one color glitter design or $30 for a one color glitter design, they were charging $30 for a six color glitter design. And... I explained to them, you are losing money on that shirt. And, and they would never believe me, so I would actually run through it and show them. Okay? So, here's what I want to do. Now that we've done that, I want to give you a little example, uh, and we'll make one of these shirts. Okay? So, again, um, Instagram, make sure to head over to YouTube, because you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing here, Instagram. Okay? Okay? So Instagram, head over to YouTube so you can see me do this on my screen, okay? Because I'm going to go over pricing using Corel Draw and the Wizard here. So many of you, by the way, we have 11 minutes left, okay? We have 11 minutes left. We're at 855 people. We need 145 more people to have nine nine vinyl roll giveaways, nine different people, okay, will each get a roll of the new vinyls. But we still need 143 more people, and we only have 10 minutes left. 
Come on, let's do it. Make sure you're on multiple. Here's cheat code. Let's go. Make sure you're on multiple devices. Get it. Let's go. Make sure you're on multiple devices. Believe me, I want you guys know I want to give them away, but the only way we're going to do it is if we hit the number in time. All right, so check this out. This Beach Five in Design was a mini pack. Robin Starks, welcome to All Star Membership. Appreciate your support. No, 930. Listen, okay, let me flip around here so we can uh, go over this again real quick, just so you guys know. So the time frame of 930 is for. Oof. These three, ah, these three vinyls. So if we get it, if we get a thousand by 930, I'm going to give away one of the, I don't even know which one's which, one of the pink UV, one of the um, yellow UV heat transfer vinyls, and one of the purple. Okay, that's if we get there by 930. If we get there by nine o'clock, I'm also going to give away one of each of the glow-in-the-dark adhesive vinyls. Got it? So, 9 o'clock, all of these and those three, 9.30, just those three. We on? Everybody good? We know the rules? Rules of the game. Let's go. We are at 9.09 right now, by the way. Let's get it. All right. So let me show you this. This Beach Vibe in Design, we're going to make this one. Aaron, appreciate your support, Major League member. We're going to make this shirt, and I'm going to, I honestly, I want to see what a tone-on-tone -tone looks like. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I have no clue because I haven't done this white on white, and I honestly don't know if you're going to be able to see it at all, but we're going to find out. Because as you guys know, I always test on the lives. And then you guys can see what it looks like and decide if it lo looks good for your customers, right? We're at 913. We have eight minutes left. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So check this out. Beach Vibin. Okay. This is a mini pack that we released last week. Here's the deal. I got, let's say, rose gold glitter and pink glitter. Okay. If I want to throw this, I'm switching over my screen camera. Don't worry. If I want to throw this onto a t-shirt, okay, within the Wizard and Corel draw, I come over to mock-ups. I say I want this on a women's tank top. Let's go women tank top shirt front and click on that women's tank top and it throws it perfectly onto that tank top for me, okay? If I want it to be a yellow tank top, I can switch it to whatever I want, all right? Now, here, it, we're at 938. Come on, seven minutes. Seven minutes to get 62 people here. 62 more people. Let's go. Now, check it out. If I want to figure out pricing, watch this. This is crazy. Come over to my little money sign. I'm going to click on my little money sign. And I have $2.53 in heat transfer vinyl. I got $1.43 in rose gold, and I have $1.10 in the light pink. All right? Now, everybody looks at that. Yeah, let me turn on the press. Thank you, Suzanne. Everybody looks at that, and they're like, that is freaking amazing, right? We're at six minutes. We need 25 more people. Everybody looks at that, and they're like, that's freaking amazing which it is, right? It's pretty awesome to know your cost. But check this out. Watch this. If I right click on that money sign, it's going to bring up my pricing breakdown assistant. All right. And that's what makes our software different than all the other. We're at 985. We're going to do this. We literally have six. We're at 993. Let's go. Where are we at? 993. Where are we at? Freaking ding, ding, ding. 1,008. All right, well, it looks like I'm giving away a crap ton of vinyl tonight. You guys freaking absolutely killed it. 1,000 before 9 o'clock. Oh, speaking of, while we're here, how about this? Boom. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. Boom. How about that? 
if you're on YouTube, I just put a coupon code for 10% off the new vinyls and other Color Spark vinyls as well. TikTok, take a screenshot, Matt Live 10 release, coupon code. Get it. You guys just got a coupon code for 10% off for 24 hours. You got nine roll giveaways. So nine winners for a roll. And I'm going to give away two tumblers and the t-shirt and the Cameo 4. Damn. You guys are sitting pretty tonight. Let's go. All right. So let me show you how this pricing breakdown works. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in for you guys more on TikTok here so you can see. So first thing it asks is what did you charge for the setup and design fee? Okay. Let's just say this was a, a, an existing design so we didn't charge anything extra. The hourly rate of the employee. Well, when you do a setup and design fee, you want to know how much you have an employee cost as well, right? So that's if you did charge them for a setup and design fee. And then how many minutes did it take that employee to do the design? Again, the design was done already. And there you go. So retail price of the shirt. So let's just say we're going to do this two color glitter shirt for $22. Okay. They're going to order 10 of them because it's for a bridal party, let's say. So all the girls want, all 10 girls want a beach vibe in shirt. So we're going to give them a 10% discount. We're going to use the Bella canvas shirts that cost us $3 and 50 cents. And Let's just say I have an hourly employee that's getting paid $15 an hour. All right. Now, the next question is how much, how much or how long did it take to produce one, that employee to produce one shirt? Okay. To produce one shirt. So. How many minutes? I'm going to say, even though I don't think it's this long, I'm going to say nine minutes. All right. What's the total quantity being produced? We're producing 10 shirts. Got it. Now, this is going to be different for anybody and everybody. Okay. What is your total overhead cost per month? What does that include? It includes rent, includes electric, internet, phone, water, etc. Well, if you're working out of your house, if you, you don't necessarily need to put your internet cost. Obviously, you don't put your whole electric bill in there. So if you're running a heat press, maybe you're paying an extra, I don't know, 30 bucks a month to run your heat press. You already have a phone. If you have a business phone, then whatever your business phone is. Obviously, if you're working out of the house, <clears throat> you don't necessarily have rent, right? So... I just put $200 a month, okay, $200 a month. And then how many products on average do you produce a month? So maybe you do screen print transfers. Maybe you did a fundraising decal. I don't know. I put, 200, I put 400 items, okay? That, I mean, doing one number on the back of a baseball helmet is an item. Doing a team of 12, that's 12 items. So it adds up quickly. Kara Kennedy, appreciate your support, all-star member. So when I click price to price this out, check out what it shows me here. This is pretty awesome. Angela Shepard, Little League member, appreciate your support. So I got $1.43 in rose gold, $1.10 in pink glitter for a total of $2.53. Okay. And then, no, no gas to the post office, honestly. Like when I had more orders, I had my local post office pick up the orders right from my front door. You can set that, I mean, at least here, I could set it up to where I just put them out at the front door and they picked up all of my orders for me. So, the shirt, $3.50. My total material cost is $6.03. This is where a lot of people stop, okay? But you can't. So, $15 an hour employee, all right? Nine minutes to produce. That's $2.25 in employee wages per shirt. How many of you figure that out all the time? Right? 
Be honest with me. How many of you, how many of you put employee wages into your cost right now? Let me know. How many? Yes or no? And if you don't, tell me why. I'm about to get you. The design time, you would include the design time, but I didn't because this was a pre-made design. Okay, so I've seen about five or ten people say this already. All right, I've had five or ten people say this already. That you didn't, that you don't put in employee wages because you don't have an employee. You're the most valuable employee of your business. You're the employee that's getting paid the most, right? You definitely need to put, if anything, you're going to put more, more employee cost in for you. Does that make sense? Because you can't price your items based on not having an employee because as soon as you do hire an employee and they are making $12, $15 an hour, well, guess what? Your cost and is going to go way up through the roof because you've never been figuring that into your actual retail cost. So all of your margins are going to go way down. So always calculate that in, whether it's your employee cost or an actual employee that's doing it, right? That's your labor cost. Now, business overhead cost is 50 cents, 50 cents per product. So my total material labor and overhead cost is $8.78. Retail price of the shirt is $22. And with the 10% discount, they're going to pay $19.80 per shirt. This whole order is going to take me an hour and a half to complete. They're going to pay $198. I have $87.80 in cost, so my business is going to make $110.20 or $73 an hour. And I'm assuming most of you will be pretty, pretty excited after your labor cost, after your overhead cost, your business still making $73 an hour on one job, right? I'd be pretty happy with that. So... Then what you can do with our software, you enter all of the customer's information, okay? If you enter all your customer's information, you can put your logo into the software and you're going to create an internal and a customer pricing breakdown, all right? Right here. So when I go create printable pricing breakdown, here's what's going to happen. Click on that and check this out. There's my beach vibe and design. There's my logo. There's the date, the order due date, all the customer's information. This here is the vinyl. So look, this one is for the customer, okay? These are the vinyls that I'm using. There's the size of the design, how much it's going to cost them. There's the tax, everything, okay? What shirt I'm using, what color shirt I'm using. And then the customer signs off on this. The customer signs off on it agreeing to everything okay they're agreeing to all of this now check it out when i go back and i look at my internal pricing don't mix these up right you mix these up you're screwed <laughs> and here's the reason why check it out so this one here tells the customer how much money you have in heat transfer vinyl. It tells the customer how much money you're going to make on this job, right? So this is for your records to file <clears throat> or save. So you know when this job comes back next year, you can look at it, you can type some notes in it and say, man, those took a lot longer. Those shirts took a lot longer to create than we thought. We need to up the price on those. Or those shirts didn't take as long as we thought. Are you going to lower the price? Hell no. You're going to make more money. <laughs> right? So all of this saves in different pages with the mock-up, with the cut file, everything. 
and you can just save this as order number one, two, three, four, Matt Vassallo. Save it on your computer. I come back for these short shirts a year from now. You pull it up. You have the pricing that you charged me last year, how long it took, everything. So it's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to make one of these shirts, okay? Heat press is getting heated up, so we're good to go. I need to find a winner for the shirt I'm going to make. So here's what I need you to do. I need everybody that's here to, we have a thousand of you here, yet we only have 575 likes. So I need every one of you to click that like button right now. Let's go. Click that like button right now. Now, as you're clicking the like button, we should get up to 800 plus, like literally in minutes. So everybody click that like button. We should not have half the amount of likes. Remember, every 100 likes is an extra mini pack giveaway at the end too. So here's my next question to you guys. How many of you, what's your, what's your normal turnaround time? Days. Tell me. Every one of you tell me, what's your turnaround time? Is it two days? Is it two to three days? Is it 24 hours? Is it seven days? What is it? I see one to two days. I see five to seven days. I see three days. I see two days. I see one to three days, five days, two days. Okay, so here's what I'm able to see pretty easily. I'm able to see pretty easily who is just off of this, nothing bad, right? But who is newer in this industry and who's been in the industry longer, okay? And basically how busy you are. So if you're working out of your house and you don't have employees and your turnaround time is 24 hours, probably you're probably just getting started or you don't have a ton of orders right now. Does that make sense? Or if you're one to two days, because as your business is growing, you're not going to be able to do that, right? You're not going to be able to keep that. You're not going to be able to keep doing that 24 hour or one to two days. So here's what I do. And you guys may want, you guys may want to try this. Okay. I'm, I promise you it's awesome. If your turnaround time is five to seven business days and always use business days, don't let them count Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Five to seven business days, okay? Worst case scenario, just thinking that your, your business is going to grow, okay? Now, what happens if you say it's five to seven business days and you get it done in two days? Customer's just going to be happy, right? If you get it to them three days early, four days earlier, they're just going to be ecstatic, right? because you got it to them quicker than they thought. What happens if you say 24 hours and it takes you three days? They're gonna be pissed. SNS Creations, Little League member, thank you. They're gonna be pissed, right? Under promise, over deliver, all day long, baby. Let's go. So, here's what I do, okay? I am five to seven business days normally, okay? And if we're crazy, we'll up it five to seven business days. But what if they do want it quicker? Do you say yes? Do you charge them more? How many of you here charge an expedite fee? Will they expect it every time? No, Tabitha, that's a great question. So Tabitha, Tabitha had a great question. Then they'll expect that or will they expect that every time? No, they won't, because here's the way I explain it to them, Tabitha. I say five to seven business days. I get it done for them in three days, and I'm like, hey, Tabitha, man, we, we, we were real light. We had a real light load this week as far as orders, and I was able to get yours a lot quicker this week. And since I was able to get to it, I just wanted to take care of you and get it done. And it's done in three days this time. But just know that in the future, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be done in three days. 
okay? So I was able to get it done for you quicker this time, but it's normally going to be that five to seven business days. And just let them know. Be honest with them. The one thing I learned is honesty always works, okay? So expedite fee. Give me an example. This is what we use for an expedite fee. I'll flip around so you guys can see here. And if this works for you guys, use away. I don't care if you use this. Five to seven business days, all right? If they want it in 24 hours, 50% of the total price. If it's a $200 order, that means they're paying an extra $100. If it's a $50 order, well, then they're paying an extra $25 for that shirt. So they're paying 75 bucks for that shirt. If it's a $10 order, well, then they're going to pay $15 for it. Okay? They want it in two to three business days, 35% of the total price. Five business days, 10% of the total price. Because what we explain, what we explain to them is, to do it in two to three days, we have to move you up above everybody else to make yours ahead of theirs, right? So, and that's what I explained to them. If they say, well, can't you just move it up anyway? I was like, well, would you like it if all of the other customers instead just move it up and yours got delayed? So, believe me. Here, this fixes two things. Number one is it keeps people away from procrastinating and waiting till the last minute, right? Because you guys always get that. When do you need it? Yesterday. Well, if you needed it yesterday, we're gonna, it's going to be a thousand percent upsell. <laughs> but it, it, you will see a big difference in customers that procrastinate all the time. Because if you stick to this, then I promise they will get their orders in earlier if they need them quick. Shipping is separate from this, correct. So this will fix your procrastinators and it will also, it, it, I mean, honestly, it's super easy to explain to them, right? Hey, if you want it faster than everybody else who paid ahead of you, Hey, we had 10 other orders come in in the last hour. They were in before you, so we're going to make theirs before you. You want to jump them in line? Well, you got to pay a little extra to jump them in line. So hopefully that helps you guys. All right, let's do this. So let's just say this is going to do, we'll do a pink and a purple. We're doing this Beach Vibe in design. So I'm going to go, how big do we want to go on this? I don't know, like 9.7 9 inches or so. And we're going to throw this onto a white shirt because I, honestly, I don't even know if you'll be able to see the tone on tone, but I still think it'll be a badass shirt because it will show up when you go outside, which you're outside at the beach. So anytime you're wearing the shirt near the beach or outside, the sun's hitting it, and it's vibrant and bright. But when you're inside, well, obviously you're not beach vibing if you're inside, right? So, this design right here. Let's go templates. I'm going to do a vinyl overcut. Oh, now, if you ever have it do this, I'm going to show you the easy fix to this. If you just drop it on a new page, it's because I had it a little bit outside of my area there, okay? then that will fix that. So any of you wizard or um, any of you wizard owners and Corel owners, that's an easy fix for that. So I'm going to do the outside in the outside in the pink, inside in the purple. Let's do that. All right. So the material is 10 inches wide. So I'm going to take this here. I'm going to go launch cut plot CM4. Now, I'm going to bring you guys over Instagram. I'm just going to kind of rotate you. You're not going to be able to see great Instagram, but you'll be able to see something. I'm going to move you guys over to here. Oh, by the way, remember our shirt from earlier? Obviously, it is completely, completely white again. I mean, it, 
it did it probably five minutes after, but just to show you that it's completely white again. And then if I were to come over and hit it again with the UV light, now we're back to the colors. All right, let's head to our cutter here. Let's get this done. Where are we at? We are at 742 likes. We still need some more likes. Let's go. So here's the thing. I would almost recommend, recommend getting a UV light. I'll throw it in the products we love later because, and I love this. I love that it stays so white, this material. However, the downfall is sometimes I don't, I literally can't tell which one's which, right? So that's the hard part about it. So to know, I just do this real quick, and then there's my purple, there's my pink, there's my yellow. So we're going to go with the pink first. And let's get this loaded in here. Heat transfer vinyl, obviously, so we're going to mirror it. Let's get this lined up there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go one for front edge. That looks good. Now, I'm going to get my tool. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys. Did you? A lot of you guys have been asking for these for a little while. We did, even though, honestly, I prefer, I, me personally, I still prefer, I always tell you guys what I like. I'm trying to here, let me bring this out a little bit. Just get this little extra edge out of there. I prefer the regular Magic Edge weeding tool. It's still my favorite. But a lot of people have been asking for the pin weeding tools. So this is the magic pin weeding tool. So you don't stab yourself. It's got a super sharp weeding edge. So these are on the website as well. <laughs> All right. Good to go with that. I'm going to use a force of... Let's see here. I'm going to use... Probably a little bit thicker force. Probably a force. I'm gonna use a force of 19 and see what that's like. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not too much. Let's check. All right, it's not cutting through, which is a good sign. Okay, as long as we're not cutting through the material, that's the main thing. So that's rolling there. I'm going to get, see, look, it already changed back so quick, but that's my purple. This is so cool with this light, just how it completely turns. The pens are much safer. I, I believe me, if you have kids around, then I would recommend the pen weeding tool safety wise because believe me our edges these are sharp right these are sharp yeah i'll put the flashlight i'll put the uv flashlight on the products we love i got you all right let's make sure it got all of that which it looks like it did let's move this down a little bit and trim that off and we are good to go with, uh, that was the pink, right? Again, that purple's already changed back. Just making sure it's the purple. And let's get this one. So again, I just feed it through from the back because it's longer. I don't want to unroll the whole five foot roll of vinyl. That looks good there, edge to edge. And I'm going to go one for front edge. If you have a vinyl that rolls up, I show you guys this trick a lot where you just hold it down with the edge tool just so when the, when the cutter comes back, it doesn't hit it. 
So our set, what I would recommend, I see a lot of you asking, I would recommend doing it at the same cut, doing it at the same cut you do glitter heat transfer vinyl. Okay, same cut that you do glitter heat transfer vinyl is what I would recommend for these. So let's go ahead and see if, Looks like I got a pretty night. Look how easy this is to weed as well. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Tell me that didn't happen. It did. Guess what? You kidding me? I literally must have missed it by... A tenth of an inch. Because it's hitting that edge right there. Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me. Weeding this here. Let me see. I'm going to see if... We're going to see if there's a... A savior for this. So that's going to go there. This is here. That is there. Okay. I'm just trying to see how it's going. Uh, no. Yes, I got lazy and didn't check it. And yep. It is. It came up it came up short. All right, I'm going to see what we can do here. Hold on. Let me get my edges here. Oh man. You've got to be kidding me. Not paying attention to my cut. I was looking at the inside cut and the outside cut was probably over the 10 inches. So, I wonder if I could trim this. Let me see what it looks like. That's the downfall, honestly. That is the downfall of not having a weed box. I tried to go no weed box, and it came back. Look, I can even see. Hold on. I can see where these cuts are. I can do this. So I'm going to. Come around there, boom, and then go here, to around here. Oh, we're money, baby. Yes, sir. Problem solved. Let's go. Who made a mistake? Not I. Customer will never know. That's what I'm talking about. As long as you pass, as long as you pass scissors in kindergarten, then you're good to go. <laughs> yep, it has been saved. We are rolling. All right. So let me get this one here. This is the inside part, so I know it should be fine. This one shouldn't have a problem at all as far as the size was. This is the what I was looking at when I did the first cut. Not paying attention like an idiot. All right, let's get the eye here. And just be careful because it's, it's not a real sticky backing. So just be careful as you're weeding because when you do weed it, 
if you have a piece that does come up, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it back down with the, because of the texture and how it doesn't have a sticky backing. So just be a little careful when you're weeding. Got that there, coming along the bottom there. And then let's weed through the top. There's the vibin' part of the design. You are not even gonna be able to tell that there was a mistake made. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm at 305, I see some of you asking for time temperature, uh, 305 degrees, and we are going to be about 8 to 10 seconds. I recommend probably 10. I think we have 8 to 12 on the site. It really depends on what vinyl or what heat press you have, okay? So if you have like a Cricut Easy Press, obviously you always go a little bit longer. If you have a nicer press, then you can get away with that 8 to 10 seconds a little bit easier. All right, so... Yes, heat press is on. We're rolling. Let's go. All right, heading over to the press right now. All right, heat press is here. Let me get the shirt, and let's get it. I think this is going to look really cool with the tone on tone, by the way. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to see it all. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to see it at all without the UV light. I kind of don't really want to see it a whole lot because how cool would it be if you really didn't see the shirt design much at all, but then as soon as you walk outside, it's just like, bam. All right, so I'm flipping this over here. Oh, this is going to be so freaking sweet. That here. That looks good there. All right, I'm gonna go up a little bit higher, just to be safe. Left edge, right edge, all my inside areas there look good. Now, I'm putting the cover sheet on here just to help hold it down, okay? But I looked at, just to let you know, for lining it up, I looked at my armpits, I looked a little bit off the left edge, I looked a little bit off the right edge. And then I said, okay, that looks pretty good. And again, as always, I'm good with pretty good. So, inside areas look all good there. Let's go ahead and press. 305 degrees. Now, my first press, I'm only going to do about three seconds. Okay? So, on that first press, I can slowly peel this off. And just be careful, remember, because you didn't go down for that full time and temperature yet, right? And then I can bring this down if I want as well because I already have committed to the shirt. Now, again, if this is going to move on you at all, just be careful, okay? So I can see everything and I can see through this good as well. So everything's lining up nice. Let me see if I can grab here. Let me grab you guys here real quick. YouTube and show you what I can see. All right, so, oh man, I forgot I got the camera all wrapped on here. Dang it. Hold on, let me unwrap it real quick. Had it wrapped around the tripod there. So, can you guys see how I can see the outside as far as lining it up? Can you guys see that there? So let's bring you back here and let's get this lined up. So that looks good there. And I'm just kind of paying attention to where the outline's just kind of even throughout. Once I feel like it's pretty good, cover sheet down. And now I'm gonna press for my full 10 seconds. I think this is going to look really cool. 
And I'm telling you guys, this is a first for me. I haven't done this. That's why, oh, look, it, it started to turn pink a little bit, even though I know that's going to go away in a couple, couple seconds. So we're good with that. And now I'm going to come back and give a quick little two to three second press. Just for a little line there. And, oh, this is going to look so damn good. This is going to look so sweet. All right, let me bring you guys over here. Yes. Hold on. I got to get... There we go. I want it to turn... So because of the heat, it turned a little bit of a pink, but it's changing back now. So I just want it to change back before I show you. All right, it changed back. So, check it out. White on white, right? Just straight white on white. Nothing real special about this. Everybody agrees, right? Nothing special about that at all. You guys ready for it? When you finally do get to the sun and you get to the beach to do your beach vibing, this is what's going to happen. Oh, I want to do this. Check this out. What? What? How freaking sweet is that? I'm going to do it all now. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is sick. How freaking crazy is that? Oh my, and look how quick the purple's turning back to white. The purple is almost all the way back to white now. You see that? How quick? And the pink, you can see how quickly the pink's starting to fade as well. So, when, just to let you guys know, this is only because there's no UV light hitting it right now. Okay, so it's going to go back to the white on white, but when you're outside in the sun, okay, it will stay these bright colors the whole time. So when you are in the sun, these colors right here will not go away. They are going to stay these bright pink and purple. And then once you go inside and you're out of the sun, then it'll go back to that white on white. Freaking awesome. And the purple's already back. All right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick a winner for this at the end today, too. Now, because that one wasn't custom, I didn't have to do, I didn't have to do a custom name. But I am going to do a tumbler. <coughs> And I want to try something. Um, <coughs> let me think. I want to try to layer glitter. I'm, I want to try and layer this on top of glitter. Because a lot of you guys are going to have that question. I know you are. Okay? A lot of you are going to have the question, can I layer glitter or can I layer the UV, can I layer the UV magic heat transfer vinyl on top of glitter with HTV anything? So that's what we're going to make here. I'm going to do a tumbler and oh, what tumbler do we want to do? Let's do a clear tumbler. So hold on, I'm going to grab a clear tumbler here, or maybe a pink tumbler.
Let's see. Let me pick a winner and I'll let you decide if you want a pink or a clear tumbler. And then we're going to do black glitter with pink. Black glitter as the base with the pink um, UV on top. So type in your name. Let's go. I need a custom name. And it will ship with your next order that requires shipping on the website. Next order that requires shipping on the website. Where are we at? All right, I got a name of scrolling through here. Do, 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 do. I got Marcy, M A R C I E, Marcy Spiker. Marcy Spiker. You are Instagram. I know you guys are still here. You don't have a good view. Make sure to head over to YouTube for a good view, Instagram. All right, Marcy Spiker, you are the winner for the Tumblr. Marcy Spiker, I need you to let me know if you want a pink Tumblr with black glitter and pink or a clear Tumblr with black glitter and pink. Let me know. You guys, let me know if you see Marcy uh, respond. M-A-R-C-I-E. I, I got to do, I'll, I'll work on that. You guys let me know. Marcy. Oh, I thought I just saw it come up. Where are we at? Was that you, Marcy? Pink, pink, pink. Sweet. Pink it is. M-A-R-C-I-E. So here we go. Let me flip you guys around here, TikTok, so you guys can see the screen. Let's get it. So using the Wizard and Corella again, I'm going to go M-A-R-C-I-E. And let's just go about five inches. We're going to go with our superscript. So fonts, superscript. There's Marcy. Let's break it apart. So I can arrange around a little bit. M-A-R-C-I-E. And do we want to get crazy with anything? Uh, I kind of like that M. I think that looks clean. Okay. So we got this one here. Let's go highlight it. I'm going to weld that together. Now I'm going to do my outline. So let's see if I do. That's a pretty good size. Let me see. Let's go. We're going to go about five inches. So only about 4.6 or so on this part of the name. And let's make a little bit bigger boundary. So it stands out a little bit more. Because we're going to do a pink tumbler. If we did that, I kind of like the thicker outline. So I'm going to get rid of these inside areas here. And we're going to go with this. So we're going to do HTV anything. And we're going to cut the HTV anything as well. So I normally like to do about a 0.05 or so boundary for the HTV anything, which would be that right there. So basically my colors are going to end up being probably like a pink, a black, and then this will be the HTV anything material in the background. And that's what we'll put on the tumbler here. Make sense? Okay. So... Size-wise, again, I want to be around 5 inches, 5 inches by 2 inches. This should be good. So I'm going to go to templates, and I'm going to do my vinyl overcut. But remember, always remember the HTV anything part of the design does not get mirrored. So I'm going to flip that back. Everybody with me? So, first thing we're going to cut here, and I got a little spot right there. Let's get rid of that guy. Um, first thing we'll cut is the pink. So, let's highlight this. Let's go to launch, cut plot CM4. And I still have my fours, four sub 20. So, let's head over to the machine over here. And let's get this thing cut. Good there. And... Let me flip you guys over to the production view here. 
I think this is going to be pretty cool. I'm hoping, I think it'll last too. Which color did I cut last? That's the purple, okay. We want the pink. So, that's the yellow. There's my pink. I'm going to load it in from the front this time. Slide this in, and again, this isn't a very big design, but one for front edge. Use my little weeding tool to hold it down for any of your materials that are kind of rolling up a little bit, and we're good to go. Let's hop over here and send. Um, we will have, yes, that's a great question. I see some of you asking. Right now we have pink, we have yellow, and we have purple. We also have blue coming in for the color changing, or the um, UV as well. Hopefully this week. Hopefully this week for the blue. And how awesome, just saying, how awesome would that be for like a reveal party, for a gender reveal? Where basically when they go outside or as soon as that UV light hits it, it'll change to the color, either a blue or a pink. Wouldn't that be sweet? Um, when it could be possibly as early as tomorrow or as late as Friday. It just the shipping so crazy right now. I honestly, I'm not 100% sure. All right, so I'm going to grab some Galaxy Black Caesar Glitter heat transfer vinyl here. And this is going to be my second cut. One for front edge. Let's head over here to my cut. And I'm doing my second or the outline part. So I'm going to go launch, cut plot CM4. Could you do rhinestones on the UV vinyl? I think you could, Kelly. I definitely, yeah, you could. You could. All right, so good there, good there. Let's go my setting. I have it set at 20 right now. Let's go ahead and hit send. As that's sending and cutting... I can start working on this. So the biggest thing, like I keep saying, is just making sure when you're weeding this material, it cuts really easy. It's just when you're weeding it, make sure you try, try to work kind of around it like this. So, especially on like an eye and different things, because I'm going to come to this eye in just a minute. You really want to make sure that eye doesn't come up, again, because it's not a very sticky backing, okay? When you have it to where it's not a very sticky backing, it's more difficult to get it back in place, right? It presses super easy. It's got the hot peel. All right, we're good to go there. Now the black just finished up. Let's trim that off. Um, the coupon code, I see a lot of you asking, will last until midnight tomorrow night. Midnight tomorrow night for the coupon code. So HTV Anything. Here is my HTV Anything. How many of you here have never used HTV anything? Anybody? I'm sure most of you have by now, right? So HTV anything is also how you do the full rhinestone tumblers as well. HTV anything to do this koozie here in all rhinestones. HTV anything to do this full rhinestone tumbler. HTV anything to do this glitter heat transfer vinyl tumbler, which is dishwasher safe. So 
If you've never used HTV anything before, it's a game changer. It was product of the year in 2020. Best new product of the year. All right, I'm going to do a force of 18 on this with a speed of 40. And then let's go ahead and cut this. So, weeding my black. And the black, again, that I'm using is the Black Galaxy Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl. So, that was just an outline. That is, oh yeah, this is going to look good. It's going to look good. And let's get my HTV anything out. So anytime you use HTV anything on the tumblers, the HTV anything and the adhesive on the HTV anything is what makes it dishwasher safe. So as soon as I stick this to the tumbler, I now <clears throat> it's funny, I've actually had people ask this, okay? Just because you put HTV anything on tumbler, it doesn't make a tumbler that's not dishwasher safe, dishwasher safe, okay? It's not that magical. If the tumbler says hand wash only, you still have to hand wash only, all right? If the material was that good, whew, I'd be like a billionaire. But I'm serious, people honestly ask that. You think I'm kidding, but I'm 100% serious. And then we've had people that have gotten mad because they used HTV anything, but they, when they put their tumbler through the dishwasher that was hand wash only, um, the tumbler had issues. And we got in trouble because they were using HTV anything. <laughs> yes, that's a real thing. All right, so HTV anything shiny side up. Okay, HTV anything shiny side up. I'm doing the black glitter, black glitter layer first. Okay, I can see my little outline around it. And then I'm going to press this for about three to four seconds. That, honestly, no, that is 100% serious that that's happened. Multiple times. Multiple times people have been upset at us because it didn't make their tumbler dishwasher safe. That's why I always stress it now when I talk about it. So, the black glitter is on there and good. All right, now let's come back with this baby right here. Now with this, I'm going to have to, okay, this is good. Because it doesn't have that adhesive, I'm going to have to use a little bit of heat tape. Just because we want to make sure it doesn't move. We want to make sure it stays in place, right? So I'm using a little bit of heat tape to make sure it doesn't move. Because when you're layering it, if it moves a little bit, everything's going to be off-center. So putting my heat tape on, it's going to keep it in that same spot and now I can press. Now, I'm going to explain this as well. It, this is actually heat tape. It's thermal tape. It is tape that is made to withstand the heat of a heat press. Yes, we have people that use regular scotch tape and they get mad at us. They get mad at us when the scotch tape melts in their heat press, okay? It is heat tape. I'm applying it to glitter, yes. To see, oh my goodness, this looks freaking sweet. Look at this. Look at how good that looks. Check it out, TikTok. So damn good. So damn good. All right. Let's do this. I'm not going to reveal it yet. I'm not going to reveal it until it's on the tumbler. Let me get you guys over here. 
Let's grab, let's just do this again real quick just because it's cool. Just because it's cool. <laughs> just because that's badass. All right. Grab my tumbler holder. Did I get my tumbler out yet? I didn't. Let me go grab it. We're going with the pink one. Into the secret stash closet. We got our pink save a cup tumbler. And let's go ahead and get this baby applied. So whenever you press to HTV anything material, okay, it's basically a sticker. So all I need to do now is just peel this off and there's my sticker. Apply this wherever we're good. I'm going to go, I always go the, the beginning of the name on the top. I think that looks pretty good there. Let's go ahead and press that down. The HTV anything just blends in with the tumbler. And we are good to go. How sweet is that? Now, just to let you know, that's, that looks badass as it is. Now it's time to take it to the next level. What is the pink going to look like with the black background? Here we go. Oh yeah. That looks so damn good. <laughs> that is so sick. So again, when you're out in the sun, it's going to be pink and black. So it basically is going to match the tumbler. And then as soon as you head back inside, it's going to turn back to the white and black. Here, I'll throw it on this just so you can see. So you can see it's already dulling way down, right? But watch. Oh no. Oh no. Why is my UV light? Oh, there we go. There you go. That's what it'll look like outside. That looks so cool. All right. I need to make another tumbler. This time, I'm going to do it with glow in the dark. So, I need a name. We got one more product to make. Then I'll go over all of our different sales and stuff as far as what's going on for tonight. And then we'll, we got a boatload of stuff to give away tonight. So, it's going to be a good night. So, let me head back over here. And I'm actually, I'm done with the heat press. So, I'm going to turn that off. Um, TikTok, I know a lot of you guys haven't seen this before. When I say I went into the uh, secret stash, this is, we call this the save a cup closet now. So these are all the save a cup tumblers. So these are all the Mars Skinny Steel tumblers. There's the matte black um, can coolers. There's the large water bottle ones. There's all the acrylic tumblers, the Bev Steel, the sublimation tumblers. It's a good closet right there. All right, let me flip around here for you guys. There we go. So, I see you guys knocking out some names. Let's get it. I am going to do a glow-in-the-dark adhesive tumbler for this one. And we are going to, which tumbler are we going to do? I'm going to find one here real quick. I'm going to do, um, let me see what this one is. We're going to upgrade a little bit. Oh yeah, I got a good one here.
How about this? How about a matte black steel tumbler? We're going to go with the matte black steel tumbler for this one. Got me thinking though, hold on. What if, hold on, I might have a new idea. Yeah, I think I got a new idea. I changed my mind. We're gonna go clear. I love putting cool vinyls together. We're gonna go with a clear tumbler for this one. And I'm gonna do color changing with glow in the dark. <laughs> color changing with glow in the dark. So which color changings do I have here? I have pink color changing. I could have that as the base layer, or pink and green, pink and mint, um, yellow to green. Oh, clear to blue. I don't know. What do you think? Everybody's still typing names in. <laughs> I think we've had 10,000 names typed in. Um, let's do... Change my mind again. We're doing reflective with glow in the dark. That'll be badass. Um, would probably look sweet on a clear, a black, or a clear. All right. Reflective to glow in the dark. Let's do it. Probably go on the steel one too. We probably actually we'll we'll do the steel one. We'll do the upgraded one. It's expensive tumbler. All right, let me find a name. Scrolling through to pick my name, and I got a name of I got Melanie Craft. Melanie Craft is the name I stopped on. Let me take a picture of Melanie's name. Melanie, we're going to make a quick tumbler for you. So, looks like M is the magic name tonight. Matt, Melanie, Marcy. All right, let's do it. Um, M-E-L-A-N-I-E. -E. All right, so let me switch over to my screen camera here. Let me flip you guys over TikTok. And we got M-E-L-A-N-I-E. -E. Melanie. Let's enlarge that. And we are going to go with, we'll just drop the superscript again, make it easy. M's are awesome, aren't they, Melissa? All right, so good to go there. Let's go ahead and break that apart. Make sure we're all looking good here. That looks nice. Move my E over a tiny bit. I always like to adjust it a tiny bit if I can. Just make it look even a little bit cleaner if possible. That looks good there. Let's weld it together. Now, I'm going to do <laughs> reflective as the background and then glow in the dark as the top or the opposite way. 
Yeah, I like reflective as the background, glow in the dark at the top. So let's grab that. Let's go about five inches again. And let's add that boundary. Again, we want a little bit thicker boundary. So I'm going to go a 0.1 magic boundary. That looks pretty good to me. And I'm going to get rid of these inside areas again. Just clean them out. And then the reflective will make it pop even more. I'm interested to see what reflective and the glow in the dark will look like. It Honestly, it might not look good. It might look freaking awesome. We're going to find out together. So I'm at 5.3 inches. I think that's pretty good size. This is adhesive vinyl. Okay, so we're not going to mirror it because it's adhesive vinyl. So I'm going to go templates, vinyl overcut, and then let's get these cuts done. So my top is going to be the pink. My top is going to be the pink glow in the dark. My bottom will be the reflective. So let's bring you guys over here. Let's get these cut. My tables are starting to fill up here with stuff. Stuff on stuff. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We'll need that again in a minute. We're done with the HTV anything for right now. And let me bring you guys over to the production views. There we go. Jim, Jim, what's up, buddy? Hey, Jim, I'm not going to lie. Cubs are struggling. They're the worst hitting team in baseball right now. So they're not going to win many games right now. They can only be that bad for so long. They can't. I mean, honestly, they're miserable. Their, hit, their, their team batting average is worse than all the pitchers in the National League's team batting average. Like, pitchers. That's how bad they are right now. It's so bad. So bad. All right. This glow in the dark that we're cutting first. Hey, the Cubs are worse than the Orioles right now. Maybe not, maybe not record-wise, but hitting. How many, how many hits do the Cubs have tonight? Let me know. I'm going to guess if they're in the seventh inning, they have three, maybe four hits. Maybe four hits as a team. Am I right? And I haven't seen any of it yet. Launch, cut plot CM4. And I'm going to do a force of about... 15 on this. And I'll go 16. Force of 16. And send. How many hits do the Cubs... Oh, the Reds are absolutely on fire. Do the Cubs only have one hit? Is that serious? Are they that bad? They can't only have one hit through seven innings because that means they're even worse than what they were. All right, good to go there. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Trim around. And our pink is good. Now I'm going to load in my Color Spark Reflective Adhesive Vinyl. Probably my personal favorite vinyl, because I mean, I don't do a ton of stuff in the pinks and pastel colors for me. Reflectives are my favorite of all of them. They have two hits, Jim. See? Absolutely miserable. Gosh. Oh. All right. One run, two hits, one air. They normally have about as many errors as they have hits. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do a force of 17 and send. As that's going, I'm going to weed the pink here. Again, this pink is the glow in the dark and 
This glow in the dark is probably some of the easiest adhesive vinyl you've ever weeded. And what I really like about it is that it has a matte finish. I always love when they have a matte finish because anything with a matte finish should be good, right? All right, scroll there, cut that. Let's see. Perfect. And let's get this. Yes, I will use the parchment paper trick. I see a lot of you guys asking, do you use the parchment paper? Pretty much every time I do vinyl now, I use the parchment paper trick. So, the vinyl I'm going to use, I'll just use, I got some of my Color Spark. Um, High tack app tape, okay? You do want a little bit stronger app tape for this. You probably don't necessarily need to go all the way to the high, but because of the matte finish on it, if you have a low tack app tape, you will have a little bit of an issue with the, um, with the glow in the dark because it has kind of a matte, but also a, a little bit of a, not a ton of a texture, but a little bit of a texture to it as well. I love the matte finish, yes. On everything, on, on heat transfer, vinyl, and honestly not just because it's matte, but I love the matte finish on heat transfer vinyls, on, on adhesive vinyls, everything. So, what we're gonna do, you always start with the top layer, right? Because then you put it to the bottom layer, so start with the top layer. I'm going to drop that down and squeegee that down. Once I have that, oh, let me grab here. Once I have that first part, then I always like to roll it off from the back. So roll that off there. And now... I'm going to put down my parchment paper. Get that to there. And then I can see through the parchment paper and the app tape to make sure that we're lined up good here. And that looks pretty good to me. Squeegee down that edge right there. Lift this up. And then I'm just going to slide down and then I get no bubbles. And we're good to go. Pretty sweet, right? Now let's just throw this on the tumbler quick. So these tumblers, doing it like this, are super easy to make. So I was gonna put this one on a clear or a smoked tumbler. I'm gonna do a smoked tumbler. The smoke tumbler is a little bit darker, so it'll make that reflective pop a little bit more. It's kind of like a smoked black. So, again, now, there is a lot of times where I'll also use the parchment paper for this part as well. So, the parchment paper isn't necessarily always just for layering. Now I can move it around on my tumbler here and I can say, uh, that looks pretty good right there. Drop that down. Then I can lift this up and then work my way down. Beautifully. Once I have that, I can pull this up. And we have our tumbler done. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Now, with this here, okay, check this out. 
These are my favorite tumblers of any of them because especially for selling, okay, especially for selling, and the reason why these are my favorite is when it comes to selling, these are super inexpensive. Now, I'm going to have to probably bring you guys in one at a time to see this, but let me bring in TikTok. I'm going to bring you guys into the closet first, all right? You're not going to be able to see the reflective part of it yet, but check out the glow in the dark. Uh-oh. Where did this come from? Hold on. I gotta lift this up here. All right, there we go. So, for the glow in the dark, there we go, and boom. YouTube, let me get you guys here real quick. Flip around. Oh, you're already on the production camera, so I should just be able to pop you off here real quick. Bring you guys in. And hopefully you can see it now. Pretty sweet, isn't it? And then you thought that was all, but we also have, remember we add a little bit extra on that. This is going to be hard for me to go around, turn off all the lights again here. You guys ready for it? Hold on. Hold on. Where'd you guys go, TikTok? Here you are. TikTok, come over here. You're going to have to see from over here. There you go. There we go. There's that. All right, hold on. Almost there. Almost there. Turn that off. We can see our, our glow in the dark starting to show, right? But... We also have this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. That's the reflective. I know, Instagram, head over to TikTok and head over to YouTube. I'm full of cameras here. Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, come on over. Because you're not going to be able to see anything I'm doing on my screen here in a second either. All right, Instagram. Actually, Instagram, that battery... This phone's about to die, so I'm actually going to Instagram. I'm actually going to flip you guys uh, off here so it doesn't die in the middle. So Instagram, head over to YouTube, head over to TikTok. We'll see you guys. All right. Um, the black tumblers from Save a Cup. All the tumblers we get from Save a Cup. All right. So, of all the things we made tonight, of these three, which, which is your favorite of these? The Tone on Tone UV Magic Heat Transfer Vinyl. We got the UV with the black glitter, or we have the glow-in-the-dark with the reflective. Which one? And for those of you who haven't seen, just in case any of you just got here, you ready? The shirt is revealed. That's so freaking sweet.
Same thing with the tumbler. This is the UV Magic heat transfer vinyl. So that will turn to pink with black glitter when it's outside. So sick. All right, so the question is, did I pick a winner for the shirt yet? I picked a winner, obviously. Melanie's getting this tumbler. Marcy's getting this tumbler. Those winners we have locked up. But I didn't pick a winner for the shirt yet. And then I also, damn it, I got a boatload of vinyl to give away too. So I got to give away all of these. I got six colors, six colors of glow-in-the-dark adhesive, three colors of the UV magic vinyl. I'm going to bring them all over here so we can get them ready once we're ready for the giveaways here. And then right now we have eight mini packs. The shirt and the Cameo 4. Damn. It's going to be a good night of giveaways. All right. So, let's run through the spiel real quick of everything we got going on. I'm going to show you where everything is on the website. I'm going to talk about, show you what the coupon code is that you guys earned for having a thousand people here live and whatnot. So, and then we're going to give, give away the house tonight. All right. When you're on the website, <clears throat> let me head over to the website real quick and show you. When you're on the website, all right, <clears throat> to find these materials, okay, the materials for the shirt, the easiest way to find them right now is they'll be on the main page of the website. Just scroll down. The first one here is the Color Spark Glow in the Dark adhesive vinyl okay glow in the dark adhesive you get to do the mix and match and get the discount pricing and you also get to combine that with the 10 percent coupon code got it so we have six colors of the glow in dark adhesive vinyl right now now the next one is the uv sensitive UV Magic Color Changing Heat Transfer Vinyl, okay? We have the yellow, we have the purple, we have the pink. Again, mix and match. So you could get one yellow, one purple, and one pink. That will give you an additional 5% off, and then you get an additional 10% off of that with the coupon code that's at the top of the screen right here. Matt Live 10 Release is the coupon code, yes. Good with that. Now, the magic pen weeding tool <clears throat> is right here. It takes a dollar off if you get two of them. Same thing, discounted pricing. All right. So that is another new product that we just released today. And let's head over because I see a lot of you guys asking YouTube. All right. How many of you here tonight are brand new? Let me know. Type first time if you're a first timer tonight. How many first timers? Oh, look at all of our first timers. Let's go. First timers, baby. Me, I got Becky, I got Southern, I got Matthew, I got Kristen, I got Shelly, I got Chrissy first timer, I got Diane first timer, Slow Ride, I got Sherry Tilson first timer, Shars first timer, Joanna creatively, So, Jada, Gabby, James, Jada, Beauty second timer, appreciate it, Rebecca, Leticia, Crystal, ton of first timers, awesome. So, all of you first-timers, I appreciate you guys coming by tonight. Thank you so much. We do this every single Monday night. I give away a Cameo 4 every Monday night. 
All right, this is the 251st Silhouette Cameo that I have given away. Here's the one thing, the one thing that I ask of you guys, okay? It's completely free. If you could do me a favor, on the YouTube channel that you're on right now, click that subscribe button. It's free, and then if you click that notification button as well, you will get a notification on your phone when I do a live training like this so you don't miss another Cameo giveaway or different new releases or trainings like we did here today. So do me a favor. That's the one thing I ask. Subscribe. It's completely for free. Help support the channel. So I thank you, all of you who have subscribed in the past and all of you that are subscribing tonight. Thank you so much. Completely free again. Now... I see a lot of people asking, again, about how do I become an all-star member. So, this is something that costs money each month. Only do it if it makes sense for you. I always tell you that, right? So, to become a member of the YouTube channel, you will click the Join button right there, all right? And the Join button, you can see different Different things for the join button, and I'm looking right now, three, four, and pretty cool the way you can do all of them, but the join, $19.99 a month. Make sure to do it on your computer, though, because if you do it on your computer, it's actually going to save you money, because if you do it on your Apple phone, it will charge you an extra $5. Now... The benefit of being an all-star member. Remember how we had to get to 1,000 on the live here tonight to do the coupon code? All-star members already had that coupon code. They were going to get it no matter what. And they've had, all-star members have had the ability to buy this vinyl since 4 o'clock today. Okay? So, anytime you're an all-star member, you always get first dibs at new products. Okay? All-Star members also got all of these designs for free today, right? All-Star members also, Travis was the big winner. I gave away the huge box of scrap vinyls. So you All-Star members in, are entered into that every month. Last week, they got all of these designs. They got all of these designs in the free training. When the new stones got released with a coupon code. So, the Be Kind design. So, all-star members are, you guys, I, I always let you guys say, if you're an all-star member, is it worth it? Yes or no? Because, again, I don't try to sell it. I, I think it's, if you do anything in this industry, it's by far worth it but it's only if it makes sense for your business you're gonna get way more than it costs let's just say that way more right all right so there you can see from the comments everybody that actually is all-star members all right let's head back here now i got a present for all of you guys <clears throat> the present for all of you guys is how many of you have been living under a rock for the last 400 days because I'm thinking some of you may have. And here's why I think that. Is there anybody here that does not know that we give away a free SVG file every single day? For, are we up to, I think we're up to 400 days now, aren't we? Basically 400 days in a row, we've given away a free commercial use SVG file. On the website, you'll see it changed around a little bit recently. You just click on today's free SVG design download. Click on that, and we still have this weekend's designs up there. These three designs, and the baseball and the rhinestone font, these are all free. So any of you that did not know about this, please, it's completely free. No strings attached. You can use them for commercial use to sell shirts, to sell decals. 
Here's the biggest thing about it. It changes every day. So if you miss a day, you miss the file. So just set a reminder on your phone. Hey, head over to the Rhinestone World website. Grab my free design. It'll take you one minute. And you'll get a new design every single day for free. Pretty cool, right? I agree. Okay, everybody knows where to get that. Now, products we love. This is where it shows you all the different products that I use all the time. Okay, so all the different products that I use that I may not sell on our website, like there's some of the different tumblers, there's the... Um, the lint rollers that I use for ab tape. There's the scissors I use. There's the, the thermal gun for the heat press. There's the face masks. Uh, there's a spray bottle, all the tables that I have, the cutters that I use, um, the tape dispenser, the lights for the heat press, the light board for weeding vinyls. So all of this stuff we put and try to make it easy for you guys, okay? We try to make it easy for you guys to see this. Um, Peggy, Matt, check TikTok. What's up with TikTok, Peggy? TikTok's down? Oh, no. Why is TikTok down? TikTok, you back? Oh, Peggy, I got low battery. I think they're back now. You guys see me, TikTok? We there? TikTok, TikTok. Okay, let me actually, here, I'm going to put the UV light. The UV light was $10.99. I'm going to put it on the products we love right this second. Hold on. Let me add it to production items. Boom. Just added it. Let me refresh. And right at the top, there's the UV light. I just added it. Got it? Sweet. So that's the UV light I've been using to show the different colors today. And it's $10.99. Pretty inexpensive. All right. Back to the website. Again, every Monday night, I showed you where all the vinyls were. Um, for vinyl cutters, again, our cameo kits are the best you're going to find on the internet because they're the price that everybody else sells the Cameo for, but we give you a starter kit with it as well. So whether you want heat transfer vinyl, rhinestones, whatever it is. All right, I'm ready for some giveaways. You guys ready for some giveaways? Let me flip you guys around here, TikTok. I'm ready for some giveaways. Here's what I got to give away. We got 885 likes. Hurry up and give me 15 more likes to get to 900 so we can do nine mini packs. Let's go. Where are you guys at? Let's get to 900 likes real quick. I want to do nine mini packs. I'm going to pick those first. Let me grab my phone here. We're at 900. Boom. All right. For the nine mini packs, here's how I do it. I'm going to scroll through. I'm going to highlight the top name. The top name and the eight names underneath that will be our nine mini pack winners of choice. You can go on the website. You can choose either a font or a mini pack. They'll verify that you were one of the winners, and then they'll drop it in your account. Here we go. Picking the nine mini, and you don't have to be a YouTube member in order to win. No, you don't. All right, here we go. Winner for nine mini packs. Nine mini packs. We got nine winners for a mini pack of choice. The winners are in five, four, three, two. One, everybody remembers the no spam rule, and boom. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, making sure I got no spams. Boom, 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 boom. Good to go. Okay, I got Carla Edson. I got Wendy Knopp. I got Claudia Mora. I got Miss... Miss Sanya Love. Nicole Hunt. Jesse Gibson, Kim Finley, Jennifer Cranach, and Deidre Smith. Mini pack winners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is nine. Nine mini pack winners of choice. 
congratulations to all of you guys. All right. Now, here's what I'm going to do this. I want to make it quick. I want to make it easy, okay? I have to give away nine rolls of vinyl. Here's the way that I'm going to do it to make it completely random. I am going to highlight a top name just like I did for the heat transfer vinyl, or I'm sorry, just like I did for the mini packs, the eight names underneath that. So I'm going to pick nine names, and then the first name, I'm just going to grab a vinyl, and that's that person's. The second name, I'm going to grab another vinyl, and that's that person's, and so on. Make sense? Let's do it. I'm stop and no spamming. Your name can only be on there once, all right? No spamming. Picking the winner in five, four, Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Checking for spam. Don't see any. I think we're good. So, the first one I got is Angie Walling. Angie Walling, you are the winner for the pink glow in the dark. Okay? So, let me highlight it. Winner number one, Angie Walling, Pink Glow in the Dark. Got you. Winner number two, Eddie Greer's in the house. What up, Eddie? Eddie is the winner for the Mint Glow in the Dark. Winner number three, Daniel Lane is the winner for the green glow-in-the-dark. Winner number four, Wicked Mickey in the house. Wicked Mickey, you are the winner for the orange, or coral, sorry, glow-in-the-dark. Winner number five, Audrey Garrett. Audrey, you are the winner for the peach glow-in-the-dark. And then we got winner number six, Richard Hoff. Richard, you are the winner for the apricot glow-in-the-dark. All right. Now, winner number seven, Kelly Ashby. Kelly, our cubs are sucking right now. You are the winner for the, I don't know, adhesive vinyl. I got to get my UV light to figure out what color it is. The purple, purple UV, Kelly, congratulations. And then we got Barb Kelly. Barb, you are the winner for the, which one? Barb is the, do, 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 pink. Barb is the pink UV, which means the last one is the yellow, and that is VY and LA. Yellow. Boom. Good to go. All right. That is our nine rolls of vinyl for our giveaways. So, what do we have left? The shirt and the cameo. Let's do it. Shirt and the cameo. So, the amazing tone on tone beach vibing. Tone on tone, beach vibe, and shirt. This looks good on me, doesn't it? Let's see. Beach vibe and shirt, the winner for the tone on tone, beach vibe, and shirt is, and it'll ship with your next order that requires shipping, just like all the others. Just put it in your custom notes when you place your order. But the winner for the shirt is this person right here. I got Mitchell M. 
Mitchell M. Congratulations, Mitchell M. You are the winner for the Beach Vibin' shirt. Let me get a picture here of it so I can send it to the call center so they know. Mitchell M. Congratulations. All right. It's cameo time. Let's do it. <clears throat> Again, as always, every one of you, thank you so much for coming by tonight. Hopefully, did everybody, before I pick the cameo winner, everybody have a good time tonight? All of you first timers, hopefully you guys learned something about some different new materials. Hopefully you learned something about pricing that I went over the first half of the class here tonight. So hopefully all of that helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys had a good time. That's the goal of doing all these trainings, that you learn something to better your business. And then at the end, we give away a crap ton of stuff and a $300 cameo, right? So here's the rule with the cameo, just like anything else. If, you're with, if, you, if you are the winner, it'll ship with your next order that requires shipping on the website, okay? If you're within the 48 states, we'll just add it to that order. If you're in Hawaii, Alaska, or outside of the United States, you will just pay the difference in the shipping cost because of the bigger box, but you still get a free cameo, so it's still worth it. We've shipped them to Australia. We've shipped them to the UK, to Alaska, to Hawaii. We've given away 250 of these things already. This is number 251. So I am picking the winner. And if, when I highlight the names, it's the top name that I highlight, okay? I am picking the winner for the 251st Silhouette Cameo 4 giveaway from the rhinestoneworld.com in five. Don't spam. If I see your name more than twice, you're in trouble and you don't win. Four. Three, two, one, and the winner for the 251st Silhouette Cameo 4 is this person right here. I got Maria Martinez. Maria Martinez. Maria Martinez. Oh. Let me flip here so you guys can see. Boom. Maria Martinez. Maria, I need you to comment within three minutes to let me know that you know you won the Cameo 4. Maria Martinez, where are you? You got three minutes to verify you were the winner. Where are we at? You guys let me know if you see Maria. Maria, just throw a bunch of explanations or something to, to pop out, to stand out. I see Danielle said I saw her. I seen her. I, I saw her. Do, 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 do. There she is. I see Megan. I'm looking for all the M's. Uh, Jesse said she's here as well. Uh, she's here. She said thank you. It goes too fast for me to see as well. I always just like to see it just to make sure, and then I show you guys that I saw it as well. Uh, oh, there she is with all the hearts right here. Beautiful. Maria Martinez, congratulations. You are the winner for a brand new Silhouette Cameo 4. Let's go, baby. Sweet. All right. Coupon code. Yes, coupon code will last. Coupon code will last till tomorrow night at midnight. Tomorrow night at midnight. So you basically have a little over 24 hours, technically. A little over 24 hours. Yes, 10% off. Correct. All right. TikTok, you were over 100. Can someone on TikTok type in the coupon? Oh, here, I'll show it to you guys real quick. Hold on. So you guys can take a screenshot. TikTok, 
You were over 100, I got a mini pack for you guys as well. TikTok, there's the coupon code right there. Matt Live 10 release. Take a screenshot. Matt Live 10 release. You got 24 hours with that code. All right. I'm picking a mini pack winner on TikTok here real quick. Scrolling through, and my winner on TikTok is this person right here. I got Brookie Bear. Brookie Bear. Brookie Bear, congratulations. You are the winner on TikTok for a mini pack of choice. Boom. All right, I'm going to hang around a little while, answer some questions for you guys. And again, <clears throat> please know that we answer, I answer, and Bobby helps answer, and everybody else that's on here helps answer as many questions as possible. But there's still 700 of you on YouTube and 100 of you on TikTok. So I promise if I, if I miss or don't see your question, it's because I missed or don't see your question because there's 8 million questions coming through every second, right? But start shooting with some different questions. First question was, um, will the 10% work on the new release vinyls? Yes, they, the 10% will work on the glow-in-the-dark and the UV Magic heat transfer vinyl. <clears throat> um, Do you collect before or after you create? That's a great question, Tanya, as far as for products. When you're making them, I never start working on a finished product until the customer has paid in full. The only, the only time I vary from that is when I do stuff for schools because normally schools need the product before they can get a, a check cut to them. And I know that from teaching and, and coaching. So... Yes, I never start, I never even start the project until they pay. Um, <clears throat> do I have a video on how to use rhinestones on the cricket? Yes, we do, on YouTube and on TikTok. It was my first time watching your live and I already, thank you so much, Smells Like Josie, appreciate it, thank you. Um, yes, the YouTube, we have a ton, we have over 3,000 tutorial videos on YouTube. Definitely get on TikTok. I'm posting videos on TikTok basically daily as far as quick little minute long tutorials. And Instagram, we do a ton on Instagram as well with giveaways and everything. We have a giveaway that will be announced tomorrow on Instagram if you go there right now. Um, does your website recognize members? No, not for YouTube members. So all of the YouTube member stuff is through YouTube. So as far as the different um, coupon codes, you'll get it on YouTube. The different files, you'll get it on YouTube and so on. Um, does your web... Oh, I got that. Um, do you have a starter pack for the new vinyl? No, we don't have any sample packs for the new vinyls um, because we're going to be getting different colors as well. So, because we'll be adding colors, when we, when we get and, and produce 2,000 starter packs or sample packs, honestly, by the time we get them, they'll be outdated as we're adding new colors. <coughs> What's up, Jeff? How are you? Do you reverse? No. Jeff, you only reverse the heat transfer. You only mirror the heat transfer vinyl, not the HTV anything, because you're pressing to the HTV anything. So you do not mirror the HTV anything. Do you need vinyl shield for the new vinyls? Um, Daniel, no. <clears throat> um, the glow-in-the-dark adhesive is pretty damn strong. I haven't tested it with dishwasher yet, but I think it'll be pretty good. And because it has that little bit of a texture matte finish anyway, the vinyl shield isn't going to be great on it because of that texture. And then the, the UV Magic Vin Heat Transfer Vinyl, you use HTV anything with that anyway, so you wouldn't use vinyl shield. 
<clears throat> um, what else we got? Yes, you're welcome. Uh, silly question, but I can't get the parchment paper to work. It sticks to my transfer tape every time. Is parchment paper different from big? Um, the parchment paper that I use, just so you guys know, that has worked everything for me is the Reynolds Kitchen Genuine Parchment Paper. I've seen people that use wax paper and baking paper and butching paper and so on. It does not work as good as this. Okay, so just to let you know, and I have it in the products we love, but you can get it at any grocery store as well. Reynolds Kitchen Genuine Parchment Paper is by far the best. Crafty, appreciate you. You're freaking awesome. And your TikTok's on fire. I see you up around, what are you, 6,000 plus now followers? I like it. Killing those lives. Keep doing it. Do you have vinyl that changes colors with temperature? Yes, we do, Wilma. We have, um, I'll flip around my screen camera here for you. When you're on our main page on the website, it's right here. Color spark temper temperature color changing adhesive vinyl. <clears throat> so we have clear to blue cold, pink to purple cold, yellow to green cold, red to yellow hot, and then um, the riptide, which is more of a... Um, What's the color I'm trying to say? Who's got me? Uh, ba, 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 ba. What is the color? Final score, Brewer 6. Oh, the Cubs scored a couple more runs. Okay, well, that's good. Teal, yes. Um, the lava is pretty sweet, the red to yellow. What else we got? Yes, turquoise to teal. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So all of those are on the website, and the coupon code will work with it as well. If I use Vinyl Shield by itself, will there be an issue with the dishwasher? No, because the Vinyl Shield has a strong adhesive, so it should be good. When you listed decals on your website, did you offer them glitter and other colors besides white? Yes, Becky, I did, and I charged more for them, but when I went to events, I only used white. Uh, fairly new here. Can I do all the things you show here with the Cameo 3? I just got one using. Yes, you can. Um, Therese Marie. Yes, you can do everything with the Cameo 1, Cameo 2, Cameo 3, Cameo 4, the Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, Graph Tech, any of the vinyl cutters. <clears throat> do you recommend vinyl, HTV, or permanent vinyl? or permanent vinyl, do you recommend? Um, for what I prefer for tumblers is HTV anything because I know that it's gonna be strong enough to last through the dishwasher and you can use really cool heat transfer vinyls like the glitters and everything with it. However, like our color changing vinyl will be good and then if you're just using a regular permanent vinyl, then you can use the vinyl shield on top. Um, the blue to green is my favorite. Do you guys use anything to seal it when doing it with tumblers or coffee cups? Um, no, the, the blue to green or the green to blue and so on, like the color changing adhesive vinyls, you, it has a super strong adhesive on it. So you honestly, if you're doing it on a regular like tumbler or a coffee cup, you really don't need the vinyl shield to try and save you some money because that, that adhesive is super strong. Um, will the vinyl shield affect the effects of the UV? That's what I got to see. But again, that I'm sorry, that doesn't matter. And here's the reason why. You won't use vinyl shield with the, the UV magic heat transfer vinyl. Because you never use vinyl shield with heat transfer vinyl. You only use vinyl shield with regular adhesive vinyl. Does that make sense? But cool story about that. I made an awesome shirt. Um, when I was testing this out a few months ago <coughs> and I got my 
um, car windows tinted to block all the UV light to come in, right? And it was pretty cool because when I walked out to my car from the warehouse, the shirt changed colors. But when I had it sitting in the seat next to me as I was driving, it changed back to white, even though the sun was shining right through it to hit it. And I thought that was kind of cool because at least it showed me that, oh, okay, well, that window tint really is UV protectant. And it's blocking the UV from coming in because my UV vinyl did not change colors. So it was pretty cool as I'm looking over there. I'm like, the sun's hitting it perfectly, but it's not changing colors because the UV rays weren't getting it. So it's a good test to see if your window tint's really good or not. I, I honestly, I wouldn't have thought of that until it was sitting there and I was like, I guess it makes sense because my tenant windows are supposed to block all the UV rays. Pretty cool. Um, I recommend the, if a, a good starter press is the pink press, yes. Yes, 100%. The vinyl shield does have a UV block in it. So with that being said, and that's what brought that up, even though you're not going to use vinyl shield over the UV material because it's a heat transfer vinyl, technically it probably, but it just has some of a block. So I wonder if, honestly, what kind of difference it would have. Let me see something here. So if I did this. Because the vinyl shield has a sum of, I, have, I was using HTV anything, I got to get, see if I have some vinyl shield here. Because the vinyl shield has a UV protectant to help on it, let me grab this here. Yeah. I can tell it's blocking, um, how can I show you guys this? Let me bring it over here. It's blocking a lot of the UV rays. It's not going to block it all, but that's why the vinyl shield's also going to help when it comes to protecting your vinyl from fading. So let me show you this real quick. That's a great idea. It's pretty cool. So look at this. Here's my vinyl shield, okay? I'm shining this all the same, and look at the difference. Look at where my hand was covering it. That's pretty freaking cool, isn't it? But look at the difference of that. That's where the vinyl shield was covering right there, and look how much of the UV light only got through compared to that. So that just shows, that shows you right there that the vinyl shield does block some of the UV rays. Right? So look, all of that turned into a bright already. And then look when I move it. And here, I'll show you the difference. I bet you, watch. This is HTV Anything, which doesn't have a um, UV protectant on it. Look at the difference. That's pretty cool. Man, I, I never would have thought to do this. Sorry, let me bring you guys over here, TikTok. I never would have thought to do this as a test to show you guys that the vinyl shield's actually protecting the UV ray against the UV rays. So watch, watch the difference of this, okay? This is HTV anything that doesn't have 
in a UV protectant. This is vinyl shield that does, and then this is the material, okay? So watch the difference. There, there, and there. There's regular, there's the HTV anything that doesn't have a UV protectant, and then that is the vinyl shield that does have a UV protectant. Pretty cool. So again, that just shows you that your, your permanent adhesive vinyls and different vinyls, even when going on car windows, this has the backing on it as well. They both have the backing on it. It's pretty sweet. All right, now let me flip over here. Let's go over to this camera here. And, oh, shoot, you know what? Here, I'm going to get this. I'll bring this over here as well for you guys. Let me see here. Get this. All right. Um, save a cup. Yes, save a cup comes from um, California. That is correct. Adhesive vinyl. If you're getting bubbles. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. One, you can do a little bit of a wet application, which will help. The other thing is just making sure that when you're applying it, you're not just sticking it on there. You're kind of rolling it down. We have a bunch of ice hockey designs. Yeah, we do. The tumblers you'll buy from saveacup.com. Um, why would you want to use the protective vinyl shield? Um, the vinyl shield where most people are using it is for their tumblers to help, um, especially with the thinner parts of the material to help it be basically last longer as far as if they want to put in the dishwasher and different things like that. Um, it's made a color change life. Um, I've tested it for about six months, Peggy, and it's still fine. But again, it was, I've only had it as far as our tests when we produced it about six months ago. So that's all I can technically say right now because I've only been testing it for that long. But it's still perfect, so... What else we got? What else we got? Um, the gridded transfer application tape going to be back in stock. We're hoping to get some this week, but again, not 100% sure depending on shipping and stuff. Is it hard to make a shirt that glows in the dark? No, we have glow in the dark heat transfer vinyl as well. Uh, do your rhinestone templates on the website work on Save a Cup acrylic tumblers? Yes, we have a rhinestone template for the Save a Cup acrylic tumblers. Yes, you cut the vinyl shield bigger than the actual design that you're creating. Yes. I usually do, for a tumbler, I normally do about a 0 .06 inch offset or contour. Um, Dawn, I see, Matt, did you see my comment, but I didn't see your comment. I see this one. Uh, 
Uh, how do you claim a mini pack? Just um, find out what mini pack you want. Email info at therhinestoneworld.com and um, let them know. They'll verify that you were one of the winners. Uh, Matt, take a look at the mix production. Your website for the UVHTV has a width listed as both 10 inch and, ooh, 10 and 12. Ooh, I do need to look at that. Thank you. I will look at that now, Dawn. Uh, it's 10, though. They're 10 inch wide. Mm. I see 10 inches there. And then 9.5 there. Uh, Don, where does it say 12 inches? Oh, I see it on the images. I, I got you. I got you. Yep. Thank you. Got it. Thank you, Don. Oh, Bobby, you already told Tien. Awesome. Okay. Yep, I see it. Thank you. That's that's definitely good to know. I don't want that to be misleading. Um, are you gonna be doing a template for the Mars Skinny 18 ounce tumblers? Uh, the plan is yes. Thanks, Shelly. Thanks for coming. Question is, Spiral Betty, if you put a white vinyl circle behind the black vinyl spiral for decal, would you put vinyl shield over his house? And uh, um, Joe, it really depends, because if you're doing it for a small decal, that's hard. Like, it's going to be super, super thin. So, and it really depends on, guess, how detailed your design is. So you don't necessarily have to because it's going to be thin no matter what. It's just a matter of how thin and what it's going on, really. The press settings for the UV HTV, um, you'll see them right under. So when you're on the website, when you're on the website here, you'll see application instructions. So it's 305, 8 to 12 seconds, warm peel, cut in reverse. Um, the Cameo Pro, like I, I think we talked about last week, um, Silhouette is supposed to be getting them into their warehouse on April 19th is the date that they gave us, which is next Monday. And then they just need to pack them and ship them to us. And then as soon as we receive them, we will ship them out that day to everybody that pre-ordered. You got it. No problem. Um, reflective HTV, we're, we were having some issues with the uh, manufacturing side of it. <clears throat> um, we did get some in, but I didn't like the quality of it. It was really difficult to weed, and I hate it when it's difficult to weed. So we actually just, we had to get rid of it. And so we're working on a new formula to be able to get it the way that it was. Basically, we got that came from, they were trying a new adhesive for us and it wasn't good. It wasn't something that I would have used. So we didn't even put it back up on the website yet. So we are working on that though. Can vinyl also be added to the stainless steel tumblers? Yes, it can. Um, Samantha, if you got something wrong in your order, just email info at the rhinestoneworld.com. Let them know your order number and what was wrong and they'll fix it. Oh, Joe, that's awesome. 5x5 five five came out nice. Good. Um, I haven't tested it, Joe, but try it out Try it out without something behind it first because then you're wasting less vinyl. Uh, 
Um, how much would I sell the UV, this UV shirt on like a tank top or something? I mean, it depends. Let's just call it a $3 shirt. Something this unique, I would probably be at a minimum, minimum of $30. Because it's super unique, super different. So they're going to pay for that difference. Probably, honestly, at least $35. Because I'm going to give them pricing for regular vinyls that would be less. And that would probably be my, my kind of top one. Um, when doing decals for the cars, do you just use regular? Um, well, 651 is a good vinyl as well. We have just our regular vinyl here. And if you go to vinyl on our website, Color Spark Permanent Vinyl, that's where you'll find... We have 43 different colors of a regular permanent vinyl as well. But then we also have opal and holographic and metallic and glitter and patterned and color changing and glow in the dark and reflective and so on. So you can use pretty much all of these except for the glitter texture for the back window of cars. TRW blade to fit the Cameo 3, yes. That would be the, um, that would be the, um, let me show you it. You're going to go to Vinyl Cutter Supplies right here. And we have a little combo pack. It's this one here, but you want the 45 degree one. So it's this one right here. The TRW Cameo Blade Holder and Graftech Blade 49, 45 degree. So that will include the blade holder and the blade. Um, will the UV? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna be including all the different new um, new colors in the six. I use 45 degree blade probably 95% of the time. The only time I really use the 60 degree blade is for like the brick material or any super thick material. Can you layer HTV on shirts? Yes, 100%, Jeff. Just depends on the heat transfer vinyl. You don't want to layer glitter on glitter on a shirt because when you wash it, then you'll have issues. Um... Permanent vinyl uh, on a full wrap on the matte kind of textured strata cups, those have a little bit more of an issue. They don't stick to it super good. And that's just because of a little bit of that texture on those matte strata cups. HTV, anything's great. A um, little bit more of an issue with regular vinyls. Um, is there a way to get the benefits of your software on the Cricut Maker? 100%. You would just honestly use our software and then you just import the SVG file into Design Space and cut it. So you would do all of your designing, your pricing, your everything in our software, the Wizard and Corel. And then if you have a Cricut cutter, when you're ready to cut it, do your color separations in the Wizard and Corel and then just save them as an SVG file bring it into design space and cut it. No, you didn't miss it, Herm. Not yet. All right, Patrice, you have a good night. What color is the unicorn poop? It's all different colors. It's a pink and a blue and a green kind of as you look at different angles, it kind of changes different colors. It's pretty sweet. Uh, 
Oh, which one is it? Oh, it's the... Um, what is unicorn poop? <laughs> Here, I'll show you. So when you go to rhinestones and hotfix rhinestones, I'm going to go to diamond cut SS10. And it's in the bottom right hand corner here. It's the prism or unicorn. This one right here. So we used to just call it prism, but everybody's got so used to the unicorn poop that we just called it unicorn now. Yeah, it's sweet looking in, in person when you see it. Yes. Oh, yes. We also just got in today, because I know we were out of it. We just got in more of the opal diamond cut stones, SS10. We've been out of it for a few weeks now, but the opal is back in stock. You got it, Evelyn. No problem. Um, it's a, look under squeegee. If you look under squeegee for the scraper, that's where you'll find it. S-Q-U-E-E-G-E-E. -E -E. And there's the one with the, um, with the ruler on it. Vinyl squeegee ruler. Um, the Caesar flock, oh man, so we have the Caesar strip flock, and it's the strip flock pro. I need to check on that to make sure on the sublimation side of it. I, I'm pretty sure it's a yes, but I don't want to tell you 100%, unless somebody uses it for it here already. Anybody? The Caesar Strip Block Pro for sublimation, let me know. I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, but I'm not 100% because I haven't technically done it. Is the purple UV out of stock already? Is it really? Okay, here's the good thing though. Um, I think it's a good thing. Hopefully we'll be getting some more in this week. We might get a couple hundred more in this week and I will let you guys know. I mean, possibly even tomorrow. And I'll, I'll go live real quick as soon as. Is that the only one that's out of stock right now is the purple? Hopefully that's the only one right now. Yeah, just the purple now. Um, I can look and see if the other ones are getting close because I'm sure they might they, honestly, they might be. Um, you know what, though? Hold on. Let me see. Um, I'm going to check on the shipping on the purple that we have coming in real quick. Give me a second. You know what? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hold on. I'm just looking up something here real quick. Give me a minute. 
I'm going to see what the shipping looks like. And if it says that it's coming in tomorrow, give me a minute and I'll... Now, there might be a one-day delay or possibly if for some reason... It, I'm going to see where the shipping's showing right now. And if, it, if we do have some more that should be arriving tomorrow, it, your order might not ship out tomorrow. But at least you can order some of it now while the coupon code is still good. So give me a second. I'm trying to hook you guys up here. <laughs> let's see, let's see. All right, that's not it. Let's see if this is it. All right, so we got... Uh, what did we say, purple? We should, yes. We should be getting, it's saying that more of the purple's coming in tomorrow. I'm going to hook you guys up right now. I am going to add I'm going to add 100 more rolls of the purple right now. Okay, I just did it. Um, the UV blue, I, we can't pre-order it right now. I mean, we can maybe get it up there tomorrow, but it doesn't exist right now, like on the website, because we haven't even got an image. We don't have it to be able to take an image of it yet. It isn't an actual product on our website yet. If it does come tomorrow as well, then um, we'll get it on the website while the coupon code is still active. But, yes, I just, you guys should see the purple in stock now. You should see the purple in stock. Well, yeah, because 15 of the rolls, <laughs> 15 of the rolls are already gone. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, purple is on there, yes. Um... I saw somebody ask if I can check how much pink is left. Ooh. Not a lot. Under 30 rolls. And I don't know if we have any pink coming in. Um, I'm looking right now. Oh, we might have another, we might have another 100 rolls coming later this week, but probably not tomorrow. I'm hoping the blue, hoping the blue will be in tomorrow. Hoping. And then we have a large, we, again, <coughs> We always start with a smaller amount just to make sure it's good and make sure the production went well and the manufacturing and everything. And now that we've gotten it and we've tested it and everything, now we have a large order being manufactured. And that's when we'll get thousands of rolls in. But off the start, we, we normally start with about 500 to 750 rolls. So off the start, the colors will ha the only other new color we'll have is the blue. So we'll have the yellow, the blue, the pink, and the purple. 
And then we'll also have, um, what else will we have? Hopefully, at some point this week, a couple colors of stones coming in. The color spark matte black is the matte black out of stock right now. I know we do have some of that ordered. The big order of the UV, we probably have, it really depends because the manufacturing part takes a little while, but the shipping part is what really takes a little while. Um, so it could be two weeks to a month. Yes, new stones. What would you price a 20 ounce tumbler with two colors? One opal with dishwasher safe covering. Two colors. Um, Chelsea, honestly, that part doesn't really matter. The part that matters is how much did you pay for the tumbler? Because if it's a stainless steel tumbler, you might have paid nine bucks. If it's a acrylic tumbler, you might have paid two bucks. So that's the biggest thing when figuring out your pricing on those. Um, I don't think I have one with opals here. I don't have one right here. But, yeah, that's the biggest question is how much you're paying for your tumbler. So on the acrylic tumbler, if it were this, something like this in two colors of opal, custom name, I would honestly probably still, even with this, be anywhere from $17.50 to $20. Bucks. You're paying $7 each, so... Seven dollars for your tumblers. I'm only paying two fifty to three dollars for the acrylic ones. If you're looking at seven, uh, you're probably for a custom name. Your your vinyl cost is super inexpensive. You're probably looking at maybe maybe fifty cents in vinyl cost. Um, let's say it takes you ten minutes to make it. You might have ten dollars in cost. So, but it sounds if it's a seven dollar tumbler, it's probably a pretty quality tumbler so I would say I would probably be at 20 bucks at least if it's a quality tumbler maybe 25 bucks depending like if it's a steel matte black tumbler like this more expensive like the steel double wall I'm going to be more expensive right Sweet. All right. I got some work to do. I got some work to do. Eight, three and a half hours. Not a bad night tonight. Not a bad night tonight. But again, if we get anything in tomorrow, I will let you guys know. I'll go live. I'll say, hey, this is in. Let's go. All-star members will know before anybody, though. So if you are a YouTube all-star member, when the blue comes, you'll get at least an hour head start. So if we get the new stones in, if we get the blue UV um, magic key transfer vinyl in, if we get whatever we get in, all-star members, you will get a head start, okay? Especially if there's limited stock, you will get a head start. So stay tuned, all of you all-star members, if we do get something in tomorrow, all right? Sweet daddy. All right, TikTok, appreciate all of you guys. You guys have an amazing night. We'll see you guys soon. Probably tomorrow. Later. YouTube, thank you so much. Thank you for taking time out of your night to come hang out with me. I will see you guys probably tomorrow because I'm sure something's going to come in. It's just a matter of what it is. But appreciate all of you guys, and I will see you guys soon. All right, YouTube. Later.